Are we on the air? All right, yeah, we lit. What's good, chat? Welcome to another episode of Press Box. I'm here with G Baby Riddell, Early Trent, and Jalen Carter. Obviously, Bama, the co my dog and co-host, will be here soon. And we got a special guest. Welcome to the show, Terrence Parsons, host of the Real Talk by Cat Pod. Make sure y'all tap in with my dog. Um, Terrence, welcome to the show, bro. Welcome to Player's Choice, my brother. Yes, sir. You, Glad to be yeah, here. Yeah, yes, sir. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into – let's just get straight into the meat and potatoes, man. Terrence, obviously – you know, you, you've you gone on the air and said you are a major Cowboys fan, been a Cowboys fan your whole life. How conflicting is it between yourself being a fan and then dealing with Cowboys media, especially because you got family ties to the Cowboys? How does that play into your fandom with the team? And, um, you know, how does that make you feel on a day-to-day? And do you get, just, do you get caught, you know, arguing on socials and feel like you have to defend, you know, the Cowboys and things of that nature? Yeah, I can honestly say, yeah, that definitely uh, ramped up a little bit. Like, I didn't actually have bad Cowboy fans until, like, what, like, after my brother's rookie year? And then it was just, you know I mean? You just start seeing, like, things, people say things, and it's just like, bro, there ain't no way y'all watch football. The same games that I'll be watching, ain't no way. So, you know I mean? There definitely is a definitely big uh, rift and disconnect in the Cowboys nation, for sure, like. <clears throat> I think a lot of that got to do with the media. Like, a lot of people don't really be watching. I mean, people really watch, uh, you know what I mean, those four-letter networks. And, you know what I mean, they that's where they form their opinions on. And it's just like, whew, ain't no way y'all can actually watch the game, man. There's just no way. And then, you know what I mean, so that's really the disconnect, you know what I mean. Um, and, you know what I mean, going to the games and, you know what I mean, doing interviews and things like that, you just realize, like, a lot of people don't really know anything about football. At least Cowboys, for sure. Um, so let me ask you this question. Now, obviously, there's been a lot of questions. I think obviously because y'all the Cowboys, the 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 mecca of the NFL, America's team, the cachet, things of that issue, are under a different microscope. From your opinion, Dan Quinn's he moved your brother to DN, and there's been a lot of question marks about that. Do you feel like that was a good move for him, or did you want him to see, see him still playing some linebacker? Because from my, from me, I think he Micah is a complete game changer, and I feel like from the linebacker spot and being able to rush, he could do so many, so many things. I personally did not like him being more on the line, but what are your thoughts and opinions on that, you know? Because he is one of the, he is not one of, if not the one of the premier edge rushers in the league. But what is your thoughts on him having to make that transition? Um, I knew coming into the draft that it was probably going to end up something like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like, I still wanted him to play. You know, what I mean, linebacker more than what he had been the last two seasons, especially you know, what I mean, seeing the holes that we have there. You know? Right. That was my big thing, you know what I mean? Other than that, I wasn't really pushing for him to play linebacker because, you know what I'm saying, he is good at what he does, you know what I mean, rushing the pass or getting to the quarterback. But I always said that should be situational, you know what I'm saying? First, <laughs> first down, <laughs> second down, you know what I mean? Unless it's second and long, he should be a linebacker. Any type of situation where they should run the ball, he should be a linebacker. Um He's the only real true linebacker that we have on the team. So uh, I just never really got why we handled that situation, how we did this year. Like previous years, I could understand a little bit more. But like mm-hmm. this year specifically, it was just I – didn't, I didn't understand that for sure. And that's why I said Dan Quinn definitely had to be out of there for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 we like it. We like it. Go ahead, fellas. Come on, yeah, yes, sir. Let's get um, it. I, I got a question for you. So, you know, I've been watching the Cowboys as someone who doesn't like the Cowboys. I'll be honest, I'm a Giants fan. We hear it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but when it comes down to it, we've seen the Cowboys have a lot of very good teams. We've seen the Cowboys, you know, get led with Tony Romo and then Dak Prescott obviously started out very hot. And I was getting lead with that Prescott getting certain criticisms. Do you think that Prescott's that guy? Cause it's time to extend him. It's time to extend him. He's definitely that guy. Um, when you look around, the, oh man, 
Uh, you want it up. I see a couple crazy faces. I see a couple crazy faces. No, I'm a football fan first, though. Like, I'm a football fan first. So, listen, right? Um, there's just nothing. If you really watch the games, like, really have a full understanding on football and you watch the games, there's no way you're coming back to Des Prescott for some of these losses and some of the things that happened. I'm not saying he didn't contribute in some way, shape, or form, but at the end of the day, if you can't get it done with Dak, you can't get it done with nobody. And that's just how I feel about it. Can, can you elaborate on that? Can, can I? Yeah. Can you elaborate <laughs> on that? I'm going to elaborate. I'm going to elaborate like this. Yeah. Unless you're Patrick Mahomes, if you can't win with that, you're not going to win with nobody, bro. Okay, so let me, ask you, this, okay, let me ask you this, Terrence. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay, so Terrence, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, right? Welcome to the press box. Let me ask you, let me ask you this, Terrence. Let me ask you this. Is Dak Prescott a lot top five quarterback to you? Yes. Where? I'll give you the list. I'll give you the list. Give me the list. Let's get 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 the list. let you gonna tell me? You gonna tell me your your brother and the entire Cowboys team wouldn't trade that for Josh Allen? To <laughs> no, 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 no. That would be a little crazy. That's no. a little crazy, there. Aaron. No, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. 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 Why is that press call right there? Listen, What's wrong with Josh listen, Allen? Listen, 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 listen. People get caught up on height, talent, and ability. At the end of the day, you still got to go out there and play the game. And when he goes out there and plays the game, he leads the league in turnovers, interceptions, fumbles. You don't win like that. You don't. You just don't like win it. like that. You don't like win like that. Can you win like Dak? Josh Allen performing the playoffs better than Dak? No. So, so. No. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. What has he won? We talking about we're, we're, we're talking about we're talking about performance though because you can because you can play bad and still win you can play decent and still win you right yeah so, okay. <laughs> but hold on hold on but hold on hold on time out but time out but time out Terrence do you go by TP you at all lose. it don't Terrence. matter Terrence. Is always a win. I, I got an actual question though about this Dak thing because you just said you you put you said all these crazy names and then you said Dak yeah. so if you think you could win with Dak. You think you could win with CJ? You think you could win yeah. with Jordan Love? Yeah. You and you confident? You you more confident in Dak than those guys from what they've yeah. shown you already? Yeah. But, but why though? The only one, the, the only one I might give you is CJ because CJ, but he just started. You don't know what he's gonna look like next year when there's actual film and tape out there. So you know so, I mean? so we got, we, 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 CJ, you know what I mean? I like CJ a lot. You know what I'm saying? He's in my top 10 quarterbacks right now. But at the same time, you know what I mean? You can't base one year and say, oh, yeah, that's a guy. You know what I mean? Because that's what y'all just did with Jalen Hurts. Y'all just did that. Can I get – Y'all just did that. Why? Why? But hold on, but hold on, but hold on, but hold on, hold on. But Jalen Hurts don't need those strays because if you also agree – but if you also agree that Dan Quinn – was making a wrong decision about schematically how he used your brother. We can also oh, agree. We could agree. We could agree. We could agree how Jalen Hurts was used with this new coat OC limited him as well. So come on now. We okay, okay, if so we listen, gonna use we can if that, we gonna you, use that you, for you. you can can say that, okay. Listen, 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 not talking about Jalen Hurts. Listen, 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 listen. Okay, I understand where you're coming from, but then let's go back to Dak. Who has Dak really had? Who has Dak had? What do you mean by that? From a coaching, from a coaching a standpoint. Coaching. From oh, a coaching right, standpoint, who has Dak had? Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, coach Dak had. I mean, wait, 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 you're not, you're not sold on Mike McCarthy. Right, so, but Terrence, y'all was, 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 was number one. Y'all had the number one offense, though. 2016, Jason Garrett. We know where he's at. We know where he's at. Yeah. We know where he's at. He won rookie of the year. So can I ask you? Uh, two years ask, later, two years later, when he's not a Dallas Cowboy quarterback, he was a Giants quarterback. 
What does your quarterback look like under Jason Garrett? <laughs> I'm not done. I'm not done. Kellen Moore. You see what he made Kellen Moore look like. It wasn't the other way around. You see what he made Kellen Moore look like. And then you see what Kellen Moore look like. He looked he just got a new job in Philly. And guess what? Y'all gonna see what he what Jalen Hurts really looked like. And what Kellen Moore really looked like and how Dak was saving these guys. They say he saved jobs for years. He saved jobs for years. How was he saving them? He's too oh, he saved the playoffs. Playoffs. He, he saved he jobs. Jason Garrett, bro. He's the reason they're getting if, fired. If He's Dak, listen, the if, Dak, if, Dak, if, Dak, if Dak don't get the number one seed his rookie year, Jason Garrett don't keep a job as long as he did. Hold on. That rookie year, he got to play with Zeke. He had the best offensive line in the league. Who was his receivers, though? Had- Who was he throwing the ball to? CD wasn't there yet. CD was there. Dan was hurt. Receiver was hurt. Dan was hurt. Receiver was hurt. Receiver was hurt. Cole Beasley and Jason Witten. Hey, shout, shout out to Jason Witten. Cole, Cole Beasley was old, too. Top five. Top five. Top five. Top five. Top five. Cole, Cole, Cole Beasley, Cole Beasley wasn't nobody until Dak got there. Nobody was talking about Cole I'll, Beasley. That, that, that okay. rookie season with the wide receivers, he didn't have. But again, he got he had, Cole Beasley paid. Okay. Okay. Offensive line so, incredible. So, so, running so, game. So he had one of the greatest rookie running back seasons ever. Okay, okay. He had help. That's the run game. That's the run game. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's get back to Jalen Hurts. Last year, he had number one rushing attack in the league. Two that number is. one receivers. Mm-hmm. And he had Dak's rookie numbers. Come on. But last year, Dak, on. Dak had CD Lab last it. year. Dak had one of the best, one of the top three defense in the league. Hey, I still hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, come on. <laughs> don't talk about Dak in top five, top three defense this year because mm-hmm. in every big game, them niggas shit the bed. So I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear no. I don't want so to hear Dak. no. Because I don't Dak shit the bed in big games too. Debate. Hold on, time out. Because if Dak didn't have the MVP year, we wouldn't have made the playoffs. Let's talk about it. We didn't have a running game. Mm-hmm. That is true. We didn't have no right and, and our defense was spotty at best. So spotty, hold on. That defense spotty. was incredible for a lot of the season. It was incredible. They had some bad games. We but Dak had some We lost Trayvon Diggs. Diggs after week two. We lost Trayvon Diggs. Deron Bland week cooked two. that year. You don't think Deron Bland did very well? I'm not saying he, he did. He I'm broke not, the record. I'm not, for, uh, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying he did. Hey, Riddell, Riddell, No, no, I'm not saying Deron Bland is Trayvon Diggs. No, no, no. He was getting cooked that whole season, man. Listen, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold but up. the combination of Gilmore and Deron Bland is not terrible. Deron De- De- Bland should have been defensive player of the year. Let's not even no, do that. No, he shouldn't. 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 And then you go look at Deron Bland's numbers. Numbers. And his numbers. Oh, be numbers. Listen, you, when you, you watch the games, right? When you, when, when you make NFL history, that don't mean nothing. If it was that easy, somebody would do it. If it was that easy, somebody else would do it. Okay, well, Terrence, let me ask you this. NFL history is hard you to brought do. Up Gilly, you brought up Gilly's year. In 2019, yeah, it was one of the yeah. best DP years ever. Come on, 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 no, For real. did it's, you go look at the numbers? Because I'll oh. pull up the side by side comparison right now. Okay, okay. So I'm going to actually. Do you think it's? Do you think he was on the level of Stephon Gilmore? Yeah. So do you think Devon Bland's a top? Five as, as, in the league? As, as, huh? Do you think Devon Bland's a top five corner in the league? Top ten easily. Oh, oh my top god! Top five hard. Oh top five my hard, god! Bro. Top ten. five hard, bro. Top ten. Bro. You think he's a top ten easily? You think Deron Bland is a you top don't ten do easily that corner, bro? You don't do. You don't just have a year that he had and not be elite. Turn, what type of was? You know, I'm not wrong about that. that. Like, not bully, like, he's not wrong about that. You. I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. I will 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 say this. I'm not going to say it's too far fetched. Shout out to Bama's great work because I'm going to remember, I'm going to go back in history. Do I remember when Trayvon Diggs went off for 11 and I told y'all he was a top 10 corner, top seven corner? Y'all pushed back on it. No, you said how many yards? Because, because, because top five, Trayvon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said top five. That's fake ass statistic. 
I said said top five. I thought, and I thought he was a top five corner. I'm like, bro, at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, bro, I said, and I will give, and this is why I will give, I'll give, I got to throw Terrence a bit of a bone on this one because when I looked at that 11 interception, I'm like, yeah, he gave up some, but to take, to create 11 turnovers in the NFL is is insane because you got to really understand the turnover battle really will win and lose you a game. Stealing one possession can win or lose you an entire game. So I, if you think Deron Bland is top 10, I can't be like you bugging because he did create – creating turnovers but, as DJ, a DB, that's it, – it's invaluable. He's taking it to the crib. I do have, I do I have bounce off that real quick. He's taking it to the He's creating – that's the big thing too. A... I do want to bounce off that real quick and then you can respond. It's not only Deron Bland was a great in terms of a ball hawk. But the fact that he was converting those ball hawk abilities to touchdowns and broke the record for that, like he deserves credit with that because that's yes, that, yeah. that he, 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 he deserves sure. credit. Like that, that, that's that he that not any a, in terms of the record. He broke all the records for that, so and, he deserves credit. Come on, yeah, he deserves credit for sure. Like I'm not saying Deron Bland is a scrub by any means. Had a great season. Shout out to him, especially because he got those opportunities. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He got more of those opportunities when Trayvon Diggs got hurt. But listen, you also got to take an account to where he came from last year. Last year, he went from playing no games to having to play midway through the season and still led the team in picks. But I thought you don't value one year though like that. I don't, but I, that's you what I'm just saying. called him top 10. He, look, 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 at his back, look, look at the back half of his rookie year. His yeah. last eight games, he had five interceptions. Right. Did you turn around? Did you turn around this year? You have eight or what do you have? Eight I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, like I would, yeah, like, eight eight yeah, like eight, yeah, eight or nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrence, like I, like how, like, like, how you, like how you were slandering J- Jalen Hurts, just talking about Jalen Hurts one year. You're kind of propping to Ron Bland for that I'm one not, year, and even though he had the big sixes, his ass was getting cooked. Okay, but you put him, but you put him top ten after this season. Because Where was he to because play? You have, because when you go, because when you go look at the interceptions, it's literally Trayvon Diggs and Deron Bland the last three, four years, and he's only been in the league for two. Wait, but we understand right. with interceptions, though. If you're a good cornerback or a good defender, the quarterback's going to avoid your side of the field. So the great cornerbacks are not going to have big interception numbers because they're going to avoid throwing to you, right? So is it now? So obviously with Drabla, I understand. Like the, also, the two, also two guys, also two guys, don't put the quarterback top 10 tax off on the cornerback top 10 tax. Oh, to be God. a top 10 corner is not that ridiculous because outside the top five and even the top five, all them boys really get cooked now. All of them get cooked. All of them get cooked. Not all of them. All of them. Can we go to a list? I like the wrong Hey, can, can I get a can, can I go can name them? Can we name them? You can yes, early. I'm trying to get to a list. Can we name them? Yeah. yeah. Hold on again. We can name them. But what I'm saying is, you can't name me one DB in this league that hasn't got fried at least one game. I'm bro, not saying that, I'm that, sure that happens. That's not the point. That's not the issue. Cornerback, cornerback, cornerback is about consistency. And Deron Bland only gave up. That game of DK and DK is a different specimen. You got to be a different type of specimen to even be able to deal with him. You think you think the Ron Bland is consistently like top ten over? Like who would you like? Can we I have on? a list, right? I mean, I have a yeah, I have let's teams to go God. through. Yeah, so, yeah, let's so if we basing it off his his last what what was that what seven. 20, 20, 23 games. I know, I know the wrong. No way, he's not top ten. Okay, so I'll, I'll, let's start. Can we start going through names and then we'll, we'll kind of yeah, go ahead. Names. All right, so Jalen Ramsey. No, yep. no. Yeah, yeah, he's top five. Okay, soft. No, no, no we're top actually five? better than. Yeah, better than Deron Bland. That's that's what we're oh, trying to oh, figure oh, out. Oh, D- 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 better. Than? Oh, I mean, yeah, bro, keep going. You already know. Yeah, so Jalen Sauce. Yeah, is Deron Bland better than Christian Gonzalez? Yes. Come on, now let's not do Bro, that. I'm just going. I'm just going through names. I'm just going through names. But see, that's where it gets. Denzel Ward. 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 Denzel He's not better than Jair. He's not better than Jair. Come on, Terrence. I don't need to continue. 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 I don't need to continue
if you think that Deron Bland is better than Jair, is he better than PS2? Yeah. No, 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 no. Hell no, hell no, no. Okay. Uh, can, pa- 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 pass a top two corner. Top two corner. Um, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Jair not top five? Jair, he, he, to me, he's outside of my top five. Just outside of my top five. But I yeah. like Jair. Okay. Banks? Keep going, G. Keep going, G. Keep going. AJ Terrell? Yes. Oh my God! Keep going, keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Don't even keep going. How many all pro? How many all pros he got? Are we doing that? Oh, oh, no. Yes, we're doing that. 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 Hey, Terrence, yo, Terrence, can you tell these niggas that it is difficult to get an all pro at corner? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay hold on. Okay, is he, not is he I'm in, not mad at AJ Terrell. Is he better than Trim McDuffie? No, come on, no. 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 They're, the same, they're the same stratosphere. No, they're not. They're the same stratosphere. They're the same stratosphere. Okay, what, what about the guy that was a luxurious sneeze? Trent McDuffie Ooh. is nice. Is he better okay. than Jalen Johnson? Because he should have made first team all pro. But he didn't. He should have. <laughs> is he better than that? <laughs> is the wrong blood better than Jalen Johnson? Uh, I can't say. Yo, I mean, McDuffie. Wait, I ain't going to lie. Hold on, McDuffie. I got a, I got a Madden bias against Jalen Johnson, so like, I can't even. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even <laughs> is is but, the wrong Bland even better than Stephon Gilmore? Bro, yeah. stop it. He's not the stop best corner. Right now? Yeah. yeah. He's the best corner. Why would he cover number one? Nah, Stephon right Gilmore. Right now, yeah. I don't know. Why, 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 why wasn't he covering number one then? No, 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 I watched it. I watched it. Because Gilmore is Gilmore is still good, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's literally. Gilmore is literally bumping run. You're gonna put him on the best corner because you know he got the experience. He can tell he can tell your route before you even run it. Oh, that's so what that's yeah, so I ain't gonna lie. Jerome Bland is better than Jair Alexander. Listen, no, he's not. I don't even know. Jair is in the conference. But I'm gonna say this though, Trent McDuffie though, Terrence. I'm not gonna lie. I don't that's think they're in the same that's because that's McDuffie but the they put him in, but they put it, but the thing is, you would I think you we would all agree here. That what Trent McDuffie is asked to do, and I would argue of any corner in the football, do. he does the hardest job of I think of any corner. Oh, Y'all know I think. Listen, before I, you I, even go there, before you even go there, before you even go there, Tre'Davious Ward. Oh yeah, that's another one. That's another wait, one. Wait, 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 Oh, wait, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I know wait. how I feel about. Wait, are we talking about? Time out, time out. Are we saying? Yeah, I know you know how I feel about, about you. Are you talking about bro from the 49ers? Or are you talking about yes. today on the Bills? No, Tavarius Ward. Ward. No, 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 sir. Tavarius Ward on the 49ers. No, this is no, Davis White. No, 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 no. White. Bills is Tavarius White. Yeah, you said Tavarius White. You think Tavarius Ward's doing the same thing as Trippy Duffy? Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. You see those games? No, nah, I'm gonna be honest. No, nah, I can't get behind. No, nah, I'm gonna lie. He's not a nickel. He's not a nickel. He's not a nickel. He's not a true. Trevor Duffy can literally play. He's a, he, he's a true number one. I'm gonna guard everyone's but, number one receiver. Trevor Duffy can do what he's, he's doing. And he guards the hardest. He guards the hardest area. He's a nickel. He's Everybody knows the hardest. But you understand that Trevor McDuffie. But the thing about Trevor McDuffie that I'm saying is like, why I put him in that number ones. But, but the he's thing is, I think his job, yeah, I think, I think, I think his job is harder because this is the thing. He's their number two corner, number one corner still. So he's gonna guard your best option in the slot, and then if they go on a two wide receiver set, he gotta go guard the other receiver. So he's in and out of the slot. They travel and they move him around. And to me, I've from from this year alone, I've never seen, I haven't seen a corner guard in a slot at a higher level than Trent McDuffie this year. I thought it you was. You realize uh, Deron Bland started out in the nickel, right? Do you think he was Don't... on the level with Trent McDuffie? He was on the level with Trent McDuffie. Can I ask you something, Terrence? Um, so you think... I just told you. So rookie Terrence. year last year. His last eight games, he had five Terrence. interceptions. Just to turn into this year and have eight or nine? Terrence. Five Terrence. pick sixes? That Terrence, means you so. mentioned that Terrence, means so. Terrence, that you means mentioned so. Terrence, Terrence, you mentioned you, you mentioned Stephon Gilmore covers the ones because he's more experienced. Do you think yeah. that if Sauce Walker or PS2 came to the Cowboys right now, he would still cover the number ones? Obviously not. So then why is it matter about more experience if, if they're younger than him and less experience, but they would because still be the number the one? Two, because the two people that you just mentioned, like I previously just said, the two people that you just mentioned came into the league guarding number ones. Prove that they could do it. 
The man I'm talking about started out in the slot. He was the fourth, fifth string corner before when he came into his rookie year. And now he's a starter. All pro. That means something. That means something. That means something. Oh, I don't care what you're talking about. That so you think just because he, he started hold on, hold on, in the slot. He only struggled against DK. DK is a physical, is a physical specimen. That was his only bad game of the season. That was his physical specimen. Not a lot of people guarding him one on one. And that's what so we're did, asking. So just to be clear, it's not like little, we just to be clear, he, 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 he didn't get cooked we by, didn't, he didn't get cooked by Smitty in the first game y'all played against them. Just to be clear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out. Time Devontae out. Smith did not cook him hold in on. the first game y'all played. Do great offense be great defense? Oh, the wrong oh, yeah, oh, 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 be great defense. I want to know. I want to know. Do great offense beat great defense? Yes or no? Which one is harder, defense or offense? It's harder yeah, to man, play great Terrence defense. Terrence moves the goal so much I can't defense. even reach it no okay, more. Okay, so listen. If you <laughs> yeah, hold on, hold on, no, because listen, I just, I just, I wanted to put that out there because if you go look at that throw, that was a perfect throw on a great route to a nigga who was playing great defense. He put it in the only place it could go for him to make that touchdown. Mm -hmm. That's the same. That's the same thing that you can say for when B Cooks cooked uh, Jalen Ramsey to go up on the on my uh on the Dolphins. That was great defense by Ramsey. It was a better throw, better catch. So, but you do realize that even though you think he's a top ten corner, once Trayvon comes back, he's back in the slot. But you think he's top ten? No, be number two. He's you people. think they're think going to get rid of Stefan and make him a starter now? First of all, first of all, we don't even – I can't speak to that because we don't even know what Dak is about to get signed to until he gets signed. Can I, can, sign I, can, I, can I ask you a question, though? Well, right yeah. now, Stefan's a free agent, so I'm a, yo, he's going to be the number two. Can I ask you yeah, a question? Probably. Can I ask you a question? If – if um, this, is, this might be some propaganda. If – Dak Prescott, if y'all go out there next year, let's say y'all extend Dak and let's just say y'all have another Cowboy S season, you know, dropping the first or second round, probably the first. What are you – do you think the Cowboys' top priority in the next season should be a quarterback, potentially maybe even a Shador Sanders because of the ties to the organization? I do. I love Shador. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, um, but, no, nah, I just – I don't see that. I don't see that coming. Number one, Shador's gonna be number one overall pick. Uh, and number two, you know, what I'm saying Dak isn't gonna have us in a position to where we're gonna be able to get a good quarterback. He kind of like Kirk Cousins on the way, and that and that standpoint, because no matter how bad he does, they're always gonna be in a position where they're not gonna be able to get a good quarterback unless something falls to them. Mm -hmm. Dak, on the other hand. Hold on, you you raising your hands. Yeah, so, so that top five. Oh, yeah, you know, I've been telling you guys. You've been telling you guys. Dak Prescott and Kirk Cousins are the same. Wait, 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 <laughs> Whenever Dak plays a healthy full year, we go to the playoffs. It ain't no he plays the whole year, we miss the playoffs. We go to the playoffs. Like that's what like that's what y'all keep failing to understand. He's a winner. You don't replace winners. It don't matter what happens in the, the when it comes to the big games, you need everybody to step up. I watched so you, Pat Mahomes, I watched Pat Mahomes get blanked in the Super Bowl, come out in the third quarter, throw a crucial pick. And then still win the game. Why? His defense Jesus kept him in the game. His Jesus defense Jesus. kept him in the game. I watched Brock. I watched Brock Purdy go down every playoff game he played in, and watch his defense keep him in the game. I watched all of this. I watched all of this. So what we're not going to do is what we're not hey, going to do is. I got, so, I got perfect oh, that came in a couple of games. <laughs> well, Dak has a Dak almost has a seventy one percent NFL. You know how hard that is to have a seventy one percent. And and nine years. But but I ain't gonna lie, but I can but, 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 but takes the team. Like he said, we've had good teams. You can have a good team, you can have good teams and still not be good enough. You can have a good team and have major holes. Like, you know what I mean? That matters when it comes to beating good teams and good teams. But you said when Dak plays you win. Explain. No, you said when Dak plays your win in the regular well, in the regular season where everything's not on the line and 
the coaches aren't coming out with their best game plans. Yeah, but when you okay, so for instance, Packers, 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 this year. Packers, Packers, Packers game this year. Packers game this year. The Packers, the Packers looked at our season and said they can't play from behind. They can't stop the run. So what are we going to do? When we go into ATSD Stadium, if we win a toss, we're going to get the ball. And we're going to make them play from behind. And we're going to run the ball. And that's exactly what they did. So what we're not going to do is we're not going to say, we're not going to, we're not going to go into this year and say, oh, the Cowboys didn't have major holes. They didn't know exactly what teams didn't know exactly what they needed to do to beat them. All you had to do is be well equipped. Come that on, seems man. to be the case. But, 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 that seems to be the case with the Cowboys every year, though. That's what I'm every saying. Every year it seems like the Cowboys. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, Bama, Bama. 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 Every the year it seems like there's a game plan that they can explore no. the Cowboys every single but, time. But CG Baby, that's, that's why I want to ask my question. That's what happens. That's why I want to ask my question. You don't have a complete team. Well, two years ago. Y'all Two had Brock ago. Purdy and them. The defense showed up that game. 12 19. That yes. and, two and guess who got fired? Two guess who got fired? <laughs> Why are we blaming the coach now? Why are we blaming the coach? Hey, so Terrence, we're blaming Kellen Moore for Dak Prescott throwing all the picks. That's what we yes. did. The pocket was uh, clean, though. Why is it Kellen Moore's fault for uh, Dak threw the picks? Uh, uh, that was a bad They were the number one offense in football. Y'all the number one offense in football that season, though. Okay, so with the same offense, do y'all go five and no with Cooper Rush too this year? Yes! 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 We went four and one. We went four and one. Okay, four, four and one. Four and one. Four and one. Four and one. That's still insane with Cooper Rush. He's not even over a 70 in Madden. He's a 68 in Madden. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the press. Stop the press. Stop the press. Okay, so listen. I I, I just want to put two things out there because y'all said that. I'll put two things out there. Number one, when Cooper Rush was in those games, Guess how many points the offense scored? Twenty. So the defense. Hey, so the defense is only a game. Over rush. How much game? Wait. Yes. Wasn't the defense? Wasn't okay. the defense balling? Wasn't the defense, defense balling? And the run game was balling. I'm about to give you the run. I'm about to give you the so run. So when that came game. back, all of a sudden, it, it, when, it's this that guy that that guy hurt week one. The next week we had uh-huh. the Chargers. We beat the Chargers twenty to seventeen. We had Ooh, the that like good defense. Hold on, hold on. exactly. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. exactly. Hold on, listen. We beat the we beat the Chargers 2017. We beat the Bengals 20 to 17. We beat the Char we beat the uh we beat the Rams 20 to 17. And then guess what? We went to Philly and we watched him throw three picks in one half. Three picks yeah. in one half. Yeah. So look, we're not gonna do that. Listen, okay, so second thing. and then so when that came back, what the defense looked like? When that actually when that came back, we went from mm-hmm. top bottom five offense to top to number what one. What the defense looked like. What the defense looked like? Did the defense fall off cliff when that came back? Hey, wait, 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 we had a gaping hole. We had a gaping. We had a gaping hole outside of Trayvon Diggs, and we still couldn't stop the run. So let me ask you. Let me ask you. But it was good enough to hold. Okay, go ahead. Now, now let me ask you this real question though. Well, every team, every team that I just mentioned that we beat had a terrible offensive line, and they and they wanted to pass the ball instead of running. So wait, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question about Dak. Let me ask you a real question about Dak. And this is what I feel like, Terrence, you got to – I know the star – I know the star is in your heart, brother. No, I know it's in your heart. Man. It's in my heart, but at the end of the day, I'm a fan first. Listen, I'm a fan first. I watch the game at a high level. That's why I defend Dak the way I do because – Listen, motherfuckers man. really don't be watching. Well, you, you think – You can put you can put that last playoff game on. You can put that last playoff game on Dak. I mean, not the last one, but the two, one, two years ago. You can yes. kind of put that one on Dak. But if you – if your understanding of the game mm-hmm. is deeper than wins, losses, as far as – you know, we, right, get to the right. coaching, we get into the coaching. Mm-hmm. Dak's first pick came on a comeback route. What is uh What is Keller more infamous for doing? Comeback routes, right? They mm-hmm. sit on them. They sit on them all the time. They sit on them. So playoff game. Why are we running the comeback route? Not only the Michael Gallup. Nobody wanted to speak to the piss poor route Michael Gallup made ran. The effort on the play. I watched B Cooks this year do that same exact thing on that comeback route, but he turned into a DB. He broke the pass up. He didn't allow for it to be an interception, let alone a pick six. You know what I'm saying? Like 
It's but, things like that, bro. It's so what about this? Like but, but Terrence, but Terrence, my question. Hold on, hold on, G, baby. Hold on, G. Let me ask you this. But this is my question to you, Terrence. I under, I hear where you're coming from. Like, I, I get that part. However, Dak is, and you, and this is my whole thing. You said earlier that Dak is a player that you believe that you can win with, and you put him up there with the upper echelon quarterbacks in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Not only that, you said one of the biggest issues with your team is the fact that you don't feel like y'all can come back from behind. I think that has been the history of your team since yeah, Dak has been at the mantle. Actually, and so you, you know Dak got like one of the greatest comebacks of all time. I'm not saying he but I'm not saying oh, 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 wait, 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 I don't want to get lost in that. I don't I don't want to get lost in that. I don't I don't want to get lost in that. I don't want to get lost in that. Let's not get lost in that. Let's not let's not get distracted. That's a deflection. That's a deflection. That's a deflection. Do not get lost in the deflection, y'all. That's what he was doing there. That's a deflection. Very smart man. This guy does his homework. Don't fall asleep to that. So my question to you is if y'all get another result, and this is where I want you to be completely honest, Terrence. I don't want you to lie. Be honest. Because you've seen this time in and time out, if y'all go this year and have the same result, if you had the ability to make it happen, I'm not saying it will. If you had the ability to make it happen, to trade that Prescott, to give it another go with somebody else at the helm, potentially the number one pick in the draft, so obviously we know what quarterback you're taking, or potentially a different quarterback at the position who may who you may even deem is better, would you go a different would you go a different route if that option was available to you? Depends on how we lost and the all season we moved the same moved. the same way out the same way I choked against the 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 Green Bay Packers, which I also want to say, Terrence, is inexcusable by y'all because that was the youngest team in football. You y'all lost to a bunch you, of kids. You, you guys were the second youngest team, right? That don't matter. That's not. Oh, <laughs> it do God. matter. But Jack is a top five guy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's a top five guy. He's a top five guy. He's a top five guy, right? With with almost he's, ten years of experience. You're right. You're, you're right. He's a top five guy with almost ten years of experience, right? Okay, so if we if we going if we going to watch okay so so let's back with a home playoff game with a home playoff game. Let's, let's, let's backtrack a little bit because y'all can't really put it on Dak, bro. All right, so listen, let's backtrack a little bit. Packers get the ball. Mm-hmm. They're driving. Mm-hmm. Deron Bland, I think he what he hands to the face first down on the stop, something like that. Deron Bland hands to the face first down, something like that. They went to score a touchdown. Boom, we get the ball. We have a good, I think it was like first, second play. We go, we hit him for like a decent chunk of yards. Boop, 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 boop. Third and eight, CD drops the ball. That's on deck? No. Offense got to get off the field. We we force our only stop. The defense forces their only stop of the game. Mind you, this is the first quarter, second drive. Forces their only stop of the game. Mm-hmm. We get the ball back. Y'all know what happens. Jair and Alexander, interception. Really is pass interference. Let, let's not talk about it. Oh, my oh, God. No. Oh, oh, my God. God. Wait, wait. wait. So, so that pick was on Mitchell. So that pick wasn't on Dak. Yo, that pick wasn't on Dak. No. No. Wait, 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 no. No. Was it on CD? Who was it on? It was Brandon Cooks. Are any are any picks on Dak? Are any picks on Dak? Yes. Okay. Yes. Can I ask this question? Can I ask this question? But when a nigga, but but, but when you got a, when, how how tall is Brandon Cooks? What five nine? Five ten? Five nine. Five nine. Yeah, five five nine. Yeah, when there. you got a five nine guy on the whip route, on the whip route, you know what I'm saying? Fake outside, come back in, and mm-hmm. on the end, you got your cornerback grabbing him the whole route until he catches oh, the ball. That's not passing the fence. No. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Let's y'all go look on computers. Go look at it. Go look at this clip. Go look at it. Go look at it. Go look at it. Bring up the clip. Bring up the clip. While G-Baby finds the clip. While G-Baby finds the clip, let me ask you this. Because, of course, the Cowboys get a big – they get more attention than the others. He got the interception. The Cowboys get more attention than the others, of course. That interception That that interception was the beginning of the end. You know what I mean? You go down 14, nothing. We're not equipped to come down. In the first quarter, that's the beginning of the end. Why are you not equipped? Because of that press I got two questions for you, Terrence. No. I got – Oh, no. 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 O
Huh? We're not equipped to stop the run. Can we see the play? Wait, now we got to see the play. J-Rod, we'll see the play, the play game. J-Rod, put it up on the big screen. J-Rod, did you watch the play? See that grab. Somebody got it back here. I'm going to go I'm gonna go get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to get it. I'm going to find it. I'm going to get it. Hold on the play. Please. Because it was a bad bro. That's why Jair got it. Because it was a bad bro. Also, we understand, though, Dak can make Dak can make the decision to throw to somebody else. Why do you give him the pass for him? Throwing to his wide receivers, maybe they are in a bad position. Maybe the quarterback is closer to where he can go. He can go to the second for, option, for the second of, read, or the third. For the read. type of for the type of play that it was, and the situation that it was, it was actually a good play and a good read. That Jair was going to be beat for a good five or six yards. Now, let let me see the video. Now we got to see the video. Yeah, now I'm trying to get a good. I'm trying to get a good one. I got a replay of it too. Like I got a yeah, Zoom replay too. I don't, I don't want to get the live the live version of it, but I don't want to go on YouTube to get it because I don't yeah, want to get. Cool. Why, why do I have you? Because I have. Just, go ahead. I got Terrence. I got two questions for you. So number one, why when the Cowboys lose, it's on the team, but when all when they win, it's all because of that. That's the media. That's not the team. That's the media. You don't. You, didn't you not say the, they, they really win because of that? Did you not say that? That's the main reason why because, they win. Because a lot. Because a lot of times it is. A lot of times it is. If if the, if if the team knows that y'all can't run the ball, that you have to come into the game and pass the ball to beat us, and we're still beating y'all, putting up thirty five points at least, that's because of Dak, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now my defense second. obviously is going to do his job, but when it came to them big games, the defense was MIA. When it came to them big games, Dan Quinn and the defense was MIA. They really said if we can't get turnovers. Hey. And how many big games? Are you talking about this season in the regular season? Yeah. Do you get you regular get, season and regular season and playoffs? Okay, so okay, okay, cool. Do you give me you give me the games that Dak showed up in the big games? I think the Miami one he showed up, and then Seattle. What happened okay, to the San Francisco game? Lions. Hell no. Lions. Philly both times. Um. Okay. Uh, and, then, so, and then, and just the next only real bad game this year was against the Niners. His only, only bad truly game? bad game. His only the truly bad, bad game. game. The Bills wasn't a bad game. Look this up. We gonna look this up. Uh, no, nah, not really. That was more defense for real. How many bad games do you what think up? he's had in the playoffs? What about That's the Cardinals? What, what about the bad because games? that because that the playoffs game? matter he's had, the most. He had, we... he's had he's had one bad game in the playoffs. Whoa. Buddy, that is one bad game in the playoffs. Let's he's had one. He's had one bad playoff game, and that was in 2021. Everything else was decent, good enough to win. You think this play? You think this Packers game was decent and good enough to win yes. this year? Yes. Okay, oh so my you played God. decent and good enough yeah, to win. Listen, listen. I can't. I can't explain it to you. I can't explain it to you. All I want you, because I actually I will go get it. I will send it to you. What I want you to do. <laughs> I got you some reinforcements. I got you some reinforcements, Terry. I got you. All I want you. All I want you to do is. Go watch the all twenty-two on the game. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you want me to send it to you, I really will. If you go watch the all twenty-two, that did not play bad. I'm sorry. Uh, he threw two interceptions. Cool. Like I said, the one wasn't his fault. The second one. Oh no, the Jair one was. I just rewatched. It. No, nah, it's not. It was a bad throw. It was a bad throw. What you're talking about? It was a bad throw. It was a bad throw. If you know football, that is a flag. Anyway. Second, the second pick, I, I I put on him a little bit because he was pressing, but it was more of a better defensive play because he really baited him. Okay, so baited, quick question. Okay. So him. quick so, question, because you say it was a flag, right? So if a quarterback, if I see that man, you said he was holding him. I, I the ball that, was but, already but, in the air. No, 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 because he saw. Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me you you you're telling me because I just rewatched it. So I, maybe we need okay, to so watch listen, it together. I don't know. Made, so listen, so listen. When he made his outside move and came back in, mm -hmm. he was going to be open, correct? He was beat. He looked like, covered the, the entire time. He so looked covered the, the entire time. I'm not going to hold you. Bro. Even on the replay, listen, Jair was step for step. Listen, we need this is, Jair was step this for step. This is not Madden. This I know it's not Madden. <laughs> Jair was step for step. Madden. This is not You're Madden. Right. You're right. one Jair was one, step for step with him. A one on one where a guy is beat to the. You can be step for step and still be beat on the inside, correct? But he wasn't. Yeah, no, yeah, he he was. Was. Jair was inside. That's how he got the pick. He got, he got inside. inside. J-Rob, are, 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 are you watching the clip? J-Rob, are you watching the clip? J-Rob, are you watching? Yo, it's it, the problem with the clip is that it's the it's the it's not a good clip. So I need a better like a. No, I saw the replay. replay. I saw the replay. Let me tag you real quick. Let G baby, you got access here. Just pull it up. Pull it up. I'm not gonna hold you, Terrence. I'm not gonna hold Terrence directly. 
if somebody like J. Rod was making all these excuses for Jalen Hurts, you'd be going crazy right now because goddamn, you make it so. Listen, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not, If this, I'm not if this was for Jalen Hurts I'm right now, but the, bro, but the thing is though, but this is also too. You got to remember, Terrence believes that 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 he believes also that Dak has a Hall of Fame resume. So this is also. A bit I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to touch Hall that. Hall of Fame is crazy. Terrence, you said something earlier. He said he's not lying. He said he's not. I'm not. I'm not. He has a I'm whole thing resume. Compare, I'm not going to touch that real quick. He has a Hall of Fame resume. You if you go look at the quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame right now oh, okay. and comparing them decks, you'd be like, oh. Bro, bro. You we just let anyone compare, in the no, Hall of Fame. Hold on, Jared. Don't compare the stats I mean, between maybe. quarterbacks back then and today. It can't just no, be a stat no, thing. It's really not a winning thing. Hold on, 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 you can't, you yeah. can't go, you can't go to the Hall of Fame without winning the Super Bowl. You can't go to the Hall of Fame without going. No, to you can't. You can't. You, 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 okay, you, you, you go to the Super Bowl without yeah. winning the Super Bowl. No, 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 Everything for the most part is based off of what you do in the regular season. Terrence, no quarterback under thirty thousand yards. Is in the Hall of Fame without a Super Bowl, Terrence. You want to see this? Hold on, hold on. Tell me about this. Hold on, hold on. You want to see this real quick? I'm glad that you brought that up. Did you know that Dak is the second fastest ever to 25,000 yards? Other than Aaron Rodgers? Did you know that? Second fastest ever. Oh, you mean, wait, wait, with the amount of games? Also, Dak is, like hit 30, Dak, Dak is hitting 30,000 yards next season. He's at 29,000. Yeah, I have 30,000. Like, I, I, I want to see this play. 30, yards, 30, do y'all want to see this play or not? Yeah, let's see this play. Let's see this play after. It was a bad, bro. It was a bad, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be honest. That's the actual I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. He's doing like Jair with the receiver. You have, but listen, listen. You have to take in point of the grab and the hold. The grab and the hold is slowing his route down. He threw it where it was supposed to be at. The grab and the hold throws the whole timing of the playoff. That's what I'm trying to explain. But but I, but but it's also within that five yards, and also too. I, I think I, th I think yeah. I think the I think a ref. It's a bang bang. It's a judgment call as well because Jair is also playing the ball at that point. Cause I'm saying the, the grab man, over. Can we give yeah, so in the whole that was a great play. Down as I think that was just a great play by Jair. I think honestly, yeah. if you want me to be honest, I think it was a phenomenal play. I think it was a phenomenal play. It was a great play by him to make him the ball, but he still grabbed and held. Like you can, like if you a better angle will show you he's beat to the inside. He grabs him, holds him, then goes for the ball. Like that means something. That hey, means something. But is it smart to make I a decision like that? Hey, hold, on, hold on, hold on, Riddell. I want to let, let Riddell go, mean, go ahead, Cowboy. See, it's easy to say that. It's easy to say that from the outside looking in. When you're a quarterback, when you're a quarterback and you, you know what the play is, you know where your guy's supposed to be at, when you drop back and make the read, okay, he's one-on-one, -on -one, beat a little bit to the inside, and I let it go, he's not expecting that to happen. You can't say that's a bad read. That's, a, that's where the play was supposed to go. It's just – the, it's a great now. It was a phenomenal play. play. Great Cow, play. Cowboy, like he, he got away with a little something, something, but it was a great defensive mm -hmm. play. Terrence, I'm, not, I got you, bro. I'm not putting that on Dak Prescott, though. Now, I'm not putting the blame right there on Dak. You got to put a yeah, there's, there's there's more, there's other things that you could hold him to the fire for. Go ahead, Cowboy. So, here I, I, I got a question for the panel, right? 2021 Dallas was the number one offense in football, 2022, they were the fourth ranked offense in football. They fired Kellen Moore, right? In 2023, they were the first-ranked offense in football. Are we giving more credit to Callum Moore or the person exactly. that was still there when they Thank had the number you. one offense? Thank you. And, like, and, that, and that's what I was I'm just – this is what I was just telling them earlier. That kept people their jobs way longer and, than they, and, they, and, they and were supposed to. And let me ask one more thing. Way longer than they were supposed to. Hold up. Hold up. Everybody knows, everybody in their mom over the past three years knows the way you beat the Cowboys is to run the football, Right. If a team can't run the football and the defense can't stop the football, why do you think they're not running the football anymore? Because the offense is putting up a bunch of points. That's why. Mm -hmm. you <laughs> so and here's the thing, right? And this is why, like, I – look, you're not going to hear – I'm not making excuses for his playoff performances. He's got to step up in the playoffs. J-Rob, we talked about that before. That, yeah. to me, is the one thing holding me back. I'm not saying he's a top-five quarterback. I, I, I want to – until we until he has some consistently better performances in the playoffs, then that's when I'll really, you know, beat my chest and say that. But here's the thing, right? They're a one-dimensional offense, right? They don't run the football that well. CeeDee Lamb's a problem. Don't get don't get it twisted. He has CD Lamb. That's definitely a legit threat. And Jake Ferguson is that dude as well. But defensively, 
They're at their best when they rush the passer, right? So how do you put teams in passing situations to where they want to throw the football more? Obviously, in getting them, you know, in third and long situations like that. But if the offense is putting up so many damn points that the opposing offense says, all right, we can't run the football. We got to throw it. That's when Dallas's defense really starts doing crazy work. Okay. So basically what I'm hearing is we need to stop calling this Dallas defense elite or good or oh, great. Oh, dude, That's I basically what I'm hearing. Because know. every year we on, say this defense is this, this defense is that. Other people say that, not me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I just said this like yesterday. It's hard to have a historic defense in today's league, bro. It's hard to do that because it's an offensive Ravens league. Did. First of all, first of all, it wasn't historic. They just did something that hasn't been done in a long time. Does that not make it historic? Does that not make it historic? Man, hey, hey, look. Hey, look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, historic. No, no, it don't. Historic is 85 bears. Still curtain. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. I'm about to eat the right now. I'm about to eat the right now. You just said the wrong play and did something. What records did they break to make it historic? That's triple crowned. They triple crowned. That's not the breaking Ravens a record. Not triple that's not breaking it's a record. It's a historic feat. It's an that's historic just, feat, though, because it doesn't. You know how awesome that's a good, defense that's a great is? Year. Year. That's a great year. That's not a historic uh, defense. That's a great year. You got to break a record or something for it to be historic. You got to break a record Would you, for it to be historic. I've never, I've never heard hey, that. Terrence, I've never heard of that before. I've never that heard Shout out, Lottie. Oh, Shout out, Lottie. Yo, you man, man, how you doing, historic. bro? There's levels to historic. There's levels. Good? Maybe he's yeah. not going to be a hey, But still historic. Hey, Terrence. Hey, this, 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 this is great. This is great. This is great. I say what he's saying because you can make the same argument when it comes to the defense being able to hold most people like under 20 points throughout the season. But I'm like, I'm not, I don't know if I want to just call him historic. So I kind of. Yeah. We're talking I about the Ravens. 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 Oh, ever. Oh, that's, that's a story. That's a story. Yeah, it's, a story. Yeah, it's, a story. Yeah. it's over with. You can hey, say hey, something hey, is historic hey. and it fell short, but fellas, hey. let's move on because we can talk about yo, the count. Yo, 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 can I just get an yeah. answer to this though? Nobody has a question. I I'll said you, if, I got you. If right two years prior to when, like, right, they had Kellen Moore these past two years, and now he leaves, and yet they're still the top offense. Is it not fair to give the quarterback a ton yeah. of credit? But the thing is, that's but that's the thing, bro. But the thing is, that's why that's why he has to get the level of criticism because we've seen this regular season production by him multiple times. I don't think anybody up here disputes Dak's ability to put up numbers and play well in, in football games. I think people have issues with Dak's ability to play in football games when the pressure is at its can most I, intense. Can I answer, when the can game I is answer, at its most uncomfortable? Can I that's, answer, that's what people's can question can marks about. Answer. But Listen, I don't think anybody thinks he's it, a scrub. I want you to know, but, I don't think nobody but, thinks he's a scrub. Yeah, no, no, no. But, okay, but what, what I'm saying is it takes the whole team in those big games, in those crucial but, games. But you also, like, but you also is, agree that – but you also agree that a quarterback has the responsibility sometimes to carry the weight of said team because sometimes okay, so you're going to need a quarterback. Hold on. You're going to need a quarterback when the run game can't bail you out and play action isn't at its finest. Your quarterback that you're paying historical money, he has to sometimes carry hey. the hopes and dreams of your football team. I mean, come on. you, Come on, Terrence. This is the thing. Hey, you know football. You know football. that sometimes your quarterback – can, can, can completely just manipulate an outcome of a football game. Like, yeah, I could, I mean, we can say that. Yeah, but say that. Your go ahead, defense go ahead. has to be able to allow you to do that. You know That's what I'm saying? Your defense, defense has to be able to allow you to do that. Like, like I said, Brock Purdy, Brock Purdy went down two scores in both the, the divisional and the conference championship. Three scores in the conference championship. Hey. Their score looked almost like the Cowboys and Green Bay score at halftime. Hey. And that's why I said that's where the that's the difference. Okay. So when we were down 27 to nothing and Dak scored before halftime and made it a 27-7 game and then came out after halftime and went and got three. Yeah, we probably should have got seven, made it 2014-27, but we made it 27 to 10. We made it to where, okay, we we might have had a little hope. 
And you know what the defense came out and did? Came out and gave up four four plays and a touchdown. Okay. okay. Put that on the quarterback. Wait, 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 wait. I want to move on. I want, I want to move on. Win that football game. And, 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 and how many quarterbacks with the defense playing the way it did that game are winning that football game? None. Well, I, I, I think a lot of quarterbacks are playing no, better on, offensively on, than that. Okay, but hold on, 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 hold but y'all led the league in takeovers that year. So that's not contribute to him having short fields, being able to get the ball in the end zone easy. But also, but also, hold on, but also, too, I think, I think the other thing about and Kellen Moore. And you lead the league in turnovers, though. Yo, he should be good. Hold on, hold on, I want to move. I want to move. Listen, though, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to move. What about the games? What about the games we didn't get turnovers? And the defense. Hey, what about that? Hey, that's Seattle. Look. What about that Seattle game? Thirty-seven turnovers. You talking about? Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I want. I want to shift. I do want to shift topics because we can talk about the Cowboys for forever. Honestly, there's there's a lot of things we can go when it comes to the Cowboys. I do want to shift the topics. I will leave this about Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore did adopt a way worse situation in Chicago from an offensive standpoint. I think we all agree that. I mean, the Chargers. Right, you mean right? The Chargers, I mean, yeah, the Chargers. So I don't want to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not do that because prior, prior to the season, it was Kellen Moore's getting a better quarterback than Dak Prescott. That was the whole talk of the offense, and that defense was the whole talk of the offense. Hey, listen, I'm not even. I'm not even. Herbert had great numbers at the beginning of the season. A fan of Herbert, but if Herbert plays for the Dallas Cowboys with the defense in them games. Shut people out. Two points here. Three points here. Out, here. Out, he has the same out. season, dog. Herber, Stop Herber it, dog. Has better oh, weapons. Season, yeah. Herbert has better weapons than that. Maybe even a little better. <laughs> Can we have better than better than that? Now we Austin lie. Austin Eckler's better than now Tony Pollard. Yeah, I love Tony. Wait, wait, wait. One mic, y'all. One mic. One mic. Can I go, please? 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 Can I Mike Williams. He was hurt. Oh, Mike Williams was hurt. Next. I, can't, hurt I, can't, I, can't, I can't speak to that. I can't oh speak to a motherfucker God. being hurt. Okay. I, I, that. What I can speak to is what the roster looked like. Right? No, but you watched the game. You watched the game. You watched the game. It's the beginning. It's the whole season. Listen, I'm talking about at the beginning of the season. When those rosters come out, the Chargers offense I'll answer. I'll answer. Let him go. I'll answer. I'll answer. Listen, come into the preseason. Yes. Was the Chargers offense better than the Cowboys? No, 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 this is what I'm gonna tell you. No, this is what I'm gonna tell you. No, this is what I'm gonna tell you. No, number one, that's all I'm Mike Williams stay injured. Number two, Keenan Allen was coming off a hamstring injury, so nobody was expecting Keenan Allen. Nobody was expecting Keenan Allen to bounce back. They got more than just them. Quentin Johnson, Paul, Quentin Johnson was terrible. Yeah, we can move on. 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 That nigga do rag too tight. We can move on. I like, I like it. Oh, no, Terry, Terry, Terry. Where do you buy no, cowboy listen, glasses listen, from, Terry? Listen, no, listen, you see a different listen, game, no, my boy. No, no, listen, listen, listen. I'm only saying that. I'm only saying that. I'm only saying that because I'm about to put out something for y'all. I'm about to. I'm about to, I'm about to I gotta pull it up. Hold on, hold on. Just give me two seconds. But I kind of remember it. If we go back to 2022, last year, yeah. last year, CD Lamb is the only receiver who separated himself. Last year, in 20, last year in 2022, CD openness rating versus man and zone coverage was top five. Was top five. The next closest to him on our roster was 110 out of 130. That's 2022, Terry. That's 2022. Yeah, that's 2022. In 2023, let's talk about, the Cowboys listen, had a better offense this year then. and let's defense talk about this year. than the Chargers. Oh, listen, listen, let's talk about this year. Let's talk about this year. This year. It was C.D. Lamb, number three. Brandon Cook, 74 at 110. Now go, Fancy, go, 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 <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. You already look at the one. What was Quentin Johnson? Yeah, I don't want to hear Quentin Johnson. What? What? All right, y'all. Hold on, y'all. What was Quentin Johnson? I don't know. I don't know that off the top of my head. Somebody tell me. 
What quarterback got to deal with that? That's okay, what quarterback also got to deal with a bottom five defense every year like Justin Herbert? What quarterback got to deal with that? What quarterback got to deal with a bottom five defense every year just like Justin Herbert? Huh? What quarterback like Justin Herbert has to deal with a bottom five defense every year? That's not my fault they'd be hurt, bro. But if we're, if we're talking about weapons, if you're talking about what he did, like this, the that's, not yes, that's exactly what he's thinking. 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 That's exactly what Healthy. Even when they're healthy, they're still trash because Brandon Staley's horrible. J.C. Jackson got paid. Well, they got, they got John Harbaugh now. Kelly Moore never played. We ain't seen nobody yet. We're talking about. We got John Harbaugh now. I'm saying. 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 I'm uh, they were they worked around that. If if Kellen Moore is as good as everyone nasty. told me before last Worst their O line, he should have been Worst able to work the game. first half. The 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 Worst their the receivers. Like, like, what are you wait, saying? Wait, Cowboys, Cowboys. Kellen Justin Herbert had amazing numbers. People were going like, "Oh man, is this a sneaky MVP favorite?" Then they started losing games because the they were terrible. And then they fell apart. That was the big thing. I never said. I never said. Listen, I never. Josh Herbert. Herbert's one of my favorite quarterbacks. He's better than Dak. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. He no, is. he's not. He is. No, no he's I, not. I, I, he is. I, I agree. No, I think Herbert's better, but I don't. I don't think. Listen, I don't think you can walk. People, off people confuse. I really people, don't. You guys got to stop confusing talent just because a guy has a higher ceiling. Oh, watch this, because watch a this. guy has a higher ceiling, don't wait, make him wait, better. Wait. So, who team is more talented? Terrence. Terrence, you just named out the team of what what, what, what other roster. It's like what they actually do on the field. Yo, you just named out a piece of paper. Yo, listen, I'm what, 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 what I'm saying is, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, when it comes to Dak, you can't look at you can't look at his arm strength. That's not elite. You can't look at his arm talent. That's not elite. So what do you can't look at it. You can't look at his mobility. So what do you look at? You look at the way he plays the fucking game. The way he plays the game. And 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 when it comes down to the way he plays the game. Hey, Terrence, with that logic, Terrence, Brock Purdy, you think Brock Purdy better than that? With that logic, Brock Purdy better than that. Look look what Brock Purdy has to work with. Yo, early, I have a question. Look what Brock Purdy has to work with. No. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out. Right, hold on, y'all. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Hey, panel, panel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because honestly, this is this is this is peak. This is content. So I love it right now. But y'all, y'all gotta just y'all listen. Y'all gotta let everybody speak because I need this. Like I, I need, I need it, chat. This is feeding families. So I need y'all to. I just need y'all to. I just need y'all to let everybody go. I know y'all want to jump in. Just, just tag each other in, please. But y'all can still wild out. And I know sometimes you might get. It might get crazy. I'm. It's cool. Just come on. You gotta, you gotta curb it back in. We gotta curb it back in. I'm gonna put it to you like this, right? Beat it as it may. Oh, when it comes down to offense, putting points on the board, it's Pat Mahomes and Dak Prescott, Joe Burrow, <laughs> Lamar Jackson. Yo, bro, 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 that's not a great thing, though. No, it's crazy. It's what, it's what, what, what are we saying when we see that? that wait, 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 guys, guys, guys. guys. Let's, let's stay on track. Fellas, fellas. Let's stay on track. Listen, listen. When you go back to 2018, when you go back to 2018, it's literally Pat Mahomes and Dak for points per game. Nobody else is close. Did G baby, don't roll your okay, eyes. Okay, can I say this though? Else, bro, they put up points with him. Number Did one offense. Of course, Dak, 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 Dak has had a Dak has had a number. Dak has had a number. That's when it starts getting since, De- since Zeke's decline, Dak has had a number one to top five offense. Bedell, you go every after year, he's done, all right? Regardless of regardless of coach, regardless of what. Bedell won't go next. Then you go after him, Tegan. Go look at the numbers, bro. People say this is Dak's best year. In 2018, in 2019, he passed for 4,900 yards and 40 touchdowns. 2020, he was hurt, and he was on a crazy ass pace in 2020. We had the worst defense in the league. He was on a crazy ass pace in 2020 before he got hurt. Came back in 2021 and still had the number one offense. After they just said they don't know how he's going to be at the leg injury, and this is the best he's been since the leg injury as far as mobility, getting outside the pocket, and making plays. That's what that's what took his game to a whole new level back to where it was at the beginning of his career. Him being able to 
get outside the pocket and not be scared to use them legs. That's what people made people say, oh, this is but, the best best that that we ever seen because he put it all together. But, but as far Terrence, as with your, this right here and being able on, to read on, it. Early, let Riddell go. Let Riddell, let Riddell go. Cause he ain't, there yeah, there are so many really things that you just said that I, I'm really not a fan of because – at the end of the day, we recognize that the Cowboys, especially since 2019, had a lot of really great weapons. You said Zeke. Obviously, Zeke was cooking. But then when he was on the decline, what happened? Tony Pollard was cooking. Obviously, when CD was in his rookie year, Amari Cooper was cooking. And even in the recent year, they, I don't know. How, Amari Cooper never cooked? <laughs> never Bro, cooked. Bro, listen, listen, oh, listen, listen. What I mean by that, what I mean by that is there's no reason why when we had Amari Cooper, he couldn't do what CD just did. Facts. That's facts. No, he's not. That's right. what I mean. No. Oh, that's what I mean. Okay, you can say he's not that's as good as I mean. oh, that's, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, that's, that's all right. I mean. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. That's you what can... I mean. Listen, I know okay. the game at a high level. You're not going to debate this with me. The Cowboys have a thing where they like to limit players in their production for money. I'm trying to tell you. It's a thing. Oh, I guess we go that way. Dez spoke on it already. Amari Cooper was speaking on it before they traded Terrell him. Owens. That's why they traded on him. T.O. spoke on it. They don't and like, they, they to, they like to keep guys' team. numbers down. That's why when Kellen Moore was the guy, it was we're a receiving core by committee. It was never just a guy. This year, Mike McCarthy said, okay, I'm not going to lose my job like these other niggas. <laughs> that's so, what okay, 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 look. That's what happened. So, are we Can saying CD Lamb is going to have that same turn. situation? Because he had a, uh, he had a really CD great year. Lamb, CD Lamb put them in a position. Listen, after that 49ers game, they were in a position where you have to feed them. If he comes yeah, to the meeting and say, I would like the ball more, and then the very next game he starts getting the ball more, and you see what happens. Mike McCarthy was on the path to get fired. Oh God! Listen, the, them the, first the five ball. weeks, them first five weeks of the season, that was Mike McCarthy's offense. Right. When we hit the bye week, he he took a deep dive and said, "Okay, I got to listen to my players." For and real. bro, and bro, what 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 he's talking about, like. Dak doesn't get enough credit for how cerebral he is as a quarterback. Like Yo, Mike McCarthy, if you, said it go look at season. any go look at any quarterback who spoke on watching quarterbacks this year. Every single one of them mentioned Dak. Every single one of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't Every get single one of them. for that. Every quarterback who watched football this year, whenever they had something to say about quarterbacks, Dak was the first name they spoke. Why? Because and they seen Aaron the way Rogers he plays too. the fucking game. Aaron Rodgers said something, too. Top 10. Aaron Rodgers. He said, that, he said that's no, my favorite but, quarterback. He said, since Aaron I had to sit out and watch. Like, he said, Aaron the only said, people playing the position of a quarterback. But, Terrence, with your logic, Terrence, you said you like the way he plays the game of football, right? So, again, I said Listen, with that no, logic. What, and you think, wait, wait. Is, you would think Brock Purdy is a better quarterback, right? Hell no, no, hell no, because oh, then, no. then you're not watching hell the way they no. play the game. Then you then you're not watching the way they play the game. If you listen, if you if you just put that comparison, if you just put that comparison out there, that lets me know you wasn't watching the game. Because if you was watching the games, if you was watching the game, Brock Purdy is in a position to where he almost can't fail unless he's just out there fucking up. Okay. Brock, because of his team. I agree. I agree. I agree. I said that's no, a group of players. What you're basically saying, wait a minute. What you're basically saying is, is that he has a great situation. But then why doesn't that apply to Justin Herbert and Dak Prescott? Thank you. Thank you. That was the setup. Thank you. That was the setup. Early. Thank you. That was the setup. If you think that he has a better situation, how would you basically just say he has a better situation? Okay. So then what's the difference between that situation and Justin Herbert's situation? Because that has a because way Dak has did more with less. What? What? Oh, oh, what? Less. He's been hold consistent. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. More wait, with wait, 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 less? I think that's you a lie. Do you realize do you realize Dak started? Look. Do you realize Dak started the 2018 season with Alan Hearns as his number one motherfucking receiver? But he, but he's always had great. Was well, Justin Herbert That's in the league in 2018? Why do I care about it? <laughs> no, Herbert because was not in the league because, in 2018. Ex exactly. No, but what I'm trying to say to you is, this, um, over the course of his he, career, Dak has done more with less. Dak, if you want to bring in 2016 because he was large, in the league, if you want to talk about because he was in the sample size with Justin Herbert. For you to be trying to make those comparisons, you yeah, know, you 
okay. If you're going to bring in saying, somebody being in the Justin league five Justin, more years listen, and using all listen, that when Justin Herbert was still in high school when Dak Prescott listen, got listen, here, listen, then fine. Listen, but Justin Herbert, listen, who's listen, been in the league? Listen, listen, listen. What are we talking you, about? Listen, y'all are trying to compare him. I'm not trying to compare him. Y'all, are, What I'm saying is you can't really compare him because he, he won. He hasn't won more than him. That's number one. He has it one more. And number, hold up. Listen, listen, listen. Tack hasn't has won? Listen. Tack hasn't won? Has, Y'all love participation. Listen, no, right no, 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 or played as much for a larger sample size. Like Kirk Cousins, that's a good one. Cool. Justin Herbert hasn't played long enough. So, he doesn't so, have a playoff win. That, okay, okay, okay. So how do you have Joe Burrow? have a playoff win. Come on, okay. What do you have, have Joe Burrow? Turn. 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 Why do you have Burrow? You can make a more, you can make more of a comparison. You can make you can make a better argument for Joe Burrow. And I put Joe Burrow in my top three quarterbacks. How? How? He hasn't played enough. How? He hasn't played enough. Because Joe Burrow, hey, that press more with listen, 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 again, less. again, it comes down to the way they play the game. Motherfucking, I watched, I watched Joe Burrow win the AFC Championship game. Well, no, what was that, the divisional round? The divisional round? He got sacked eight times and still went and won the game. Eight, okay. nine, nine. Wait, hold on. So then how? So if that's the case, then how do you not I'm like Josh Allen, right. but you like Lamar Jackson? Hold on, time out. Yeah, I, that's I, I, First of all, yeah. I never said I didn't like Josh Allen. I didn't. You I, said I he wasn't top five, but Lamar Jackson. I said he wasn't top five. I said he wasn't top five, but I said Lamar Jackson is. You can't be top five and lead the league in turnovers ever since you've been in the motherfucking league. Hey, so was Dak Prescott top five when he was having all the interceptions? First of all, he led the, he led the first league all, in first interceptions. All, in the he led the yeah. league in interceptions. And play, and play less games and play less games than everybody. Was it top five then? So, hold on, was it top five then? Yes, yes. So, but I, you, you do it about Josh Allen. Oh, oh, my God. God. You just said, no, no, you no, just no, said no, you no, cannot no, be top no, five no, and you lead the league in turnovers and then you had that top five when he led the league in picks. Terrence, come on, How does that work? How does that work, Okay, I'm gonna tell you, let me tell you how it works. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how yeah. it works. What I want you to do is do that same thing that y'all just <laughs> and did and go show. look up Dax 22 interception and let's count how many was his fault. Is every Josh Allen oh, interception on it? Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. Every Josh Allen turn over on it. Every Josh Allen turn over on it. Hey, Terrence, is every Josh Allen interception on Josh Allen? Is every Josh Allen interception on Josh Allen? Listen, no, answer the question. Is every Josh Allen interception on Josh Allen? Okay, listen, right? Listen, yes right. or no? Listen, yes or no? Listen, listen, listen. So what if I was to tell you this oh year? God. Hold on, hold on. No, listen. What if I'm I was to tell you this y'all. year? Let him cook. I'm he him. led the I'm league in interceptions while uh-huh. leading the football game. So, so Terrence. That's not the Terrence. answer to the question, okay, Terrence. 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 No, 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 no. Because that means something. That means but something. you're not answering my Just, question. Hold on, hold on. No, listen. Situations and where a person turns the ball over means uh-huh. 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 when you're when, when when you're pressing when you're pressing and turning the ball over it means much less than when you're up winning the game turning the ball over for Do no. Do you so think Terrence, every Terrence. single Josh Allen interception so was Josh Allen's fault? Yes or no, Terrence? Obviously not. So, so Terrence, with that same Terrence. logic that Obviously you use, so Terrence, oh, Terrence. Josh Allen. Who, Terrence, who huh? has less help, Josh Allen or Dak Prescott? Dak. He thinks he thinks Dak's it's helping similar. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It is that. similar. Hey, Dak must be playing yeah, with the Carolina can't. Panthers the way no, he talks. The way this nigga talks. He must be it's playing with Bryce Young. He must be playing with Bryce Young. Hey, 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 if we're talking oh, about last they, year, I ain't gonna lie. Gabe Davis, is more, oh, Gabe Gabe Davis is more productive than any number two receiver we've had since Amari Cooper left. Hey, yo, you're lying. Hey, yo, you're lying. Gabe, Gabe Davis, Davis is ass. Gabe Davis is hot Brandon ass. Cooks are better than Gabe Davis. Lie. I think Brandon Cooks is better than Gabe Davis. Like I said, for the Dallas Cowboys, Knox, Dalton Kincaid, all those guys. So, bro, so recent bro, bro, year, bro, I'm Austin Knox. Give me a fucking break, Cowboy. Give they me haven't a had a run bro, game. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They, they really haven't had a consistent crazy. tight end. Hold up. I mean, Gabe Yo, Davis. Is like, you, you do realize? Bro, I just want to say this. 
The Buffalo Bills just blew us out in a game where Josh Allen threw the ball 15 fucking times. Yes. Do not talk to me about fucking Yeah, when, 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 yo, Jesus, yo, yo. <laughs> hey, maybe if Dak Prescott <laughs> played <laughs> better, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> hey, maybe if, hey, maybe if uh, Dak Prescott plays better, they might win that game. Hell. Hey, fellas, fellas. Maybe if Dak Prescott plays right. better, they might win that game. Let me ask you this. Since, since Dak Prescott is now, is working, is doing more with less, I can't believe I'm saying that. Micah. Michael, Terrence, my <laughs> who do you think I'm you would saying, pair? Listen, who do you I'm not saying I'm not saying right now, right this year, this year. Actually, this year, coming into the season, I thought this was gonna be one of Dak's best teams ever. And then you know what I mean, the situation, you know what yeah, I mean? As yeah, the as the season unfolded, but, as the season unfolded, you know what I mean? Nobody expected our offensive line to play that bad. Mm-hmm. Nobody expected that, and and, and nobody, nobody, yeah. nobody, 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 nobody expected Tony Pollard to uh not really click till the later parts of the season. Nobody expected that. Niggas thought that. Niggas Hold thought on, that on, it was going. Niggas thought it was going to be just ahead, like that. Niggas thought it was going to be just like last year, where we could run the ball and that didn't have to do a lot. That's what niggas thought this year. That's why niggas thought that we were going to be able to run the ball and Dak didn't have to put the ball in jeopardy. Because that's what happened last year. Dak had to put the ball He's in right. jeopardy. You know what I mean? So this year, coming into the season, they were like, okay, Dak, he got everything that he needs, the defense, uh, all he got to do is not fuck up. Was that the case? No. The case was Dak had to have an elite MVP caliber year, throw less than 10 interceptions, and we got the number two seed by luck. Go ahead, Bama. Go ahead, by Bama. Luck. Response to that. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll, we'll oh. Move. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all can move. All I was just saying is, you know, me, running back expert, I expected that just based off of what these two eyes, what I could see, how both of them played. Pollard and Zeke played together. They fed off one each other. They was a one-two punch. So eliminating one of them was bad for business in the totality of a run game. So you eliminated Zeke, it was bad. If you would eliminate you still had yards. Punch, it the same bad. But okay, anyway. listen, right? Listen, he also, this, yards, this, way, this is this hundred of them back. came after contact. This you is know what I'm that means. You, right? This is this is gonna be my for everything because I've been listening to you. That don't have this, that don't have that. He was getting paid 38, 39 million, 30, 40 some million, and he's asking for 60 next year. So, again, with all of this help, you magically claim he needs. If that quarterback is asking for $60 million, where is it supposed to come Oh, that's an excuse for God dropping because, listen, because listen, Patrick listen. Mahomes makes 50 million a year, and no matter what. What you plug in over there, he gets it done. So you telling me somebody that's asking for ten million dollars more than the unanimous did best see, quarterback in the did NFL you see how it needs this, needs a coach, needs did X, you see Y, how it went Z, viral? Hmm? You ain't you, you ain't see when they was talking bad about me on ESPN for what I said. Oh, I mean, yeah, they was asked because you because you was tweeting because of what I said. I said that you got to take forty million or pack your bags. You need all the help you can get. And they wait, wait, wait. me for that. So you think a nigga top five? Yeah, but I was just top I was two. Just, I was really? Just about you think a nigga that. top five? But Yo, early, you took the words right out of my mouth. You took now you listen. took the words now right listen. out of my now mouth. Now listen, now listen, now listen. Early, when I say you took the words right out of my mouth, listen. Now listen, now listen. Now this is what I told y'all. I'm a fan first. You know what I mean? I'm a fan first. So as a fan, I'm going what's best for the fucking team. I'm not saying that's not top five. I'm not saying he don't deserve 60 million. He 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 both. He deserved that 60 million because the front office played with him his whole career. And that's why he's getting 60 million. You know what I'm saying? He could have been he, we paid him all that money this second contract. We didn't have to pay him all of that money. We could have paid him that same money that Carson Wentz and Jared Goff got. But no, we wanted to play with his money. And we franchise tagged him twice. And then we had to pay him $40 million. So mm-hmm. now when that $40 million wasn't a deal no more, and now you got to pay him more, what I'm saying, what I, what I meant was that $40 million isn't going to hurt your pockets. Take that $40 million and let's go win a bowl. The, the window's two years, bro. The window is two years right now. If we don't win the bowl in the next two years, we might as well rebuild. Right. So let me Receiver ask you or question. pass rusher, which one y'all need the most yeah, that'll get yeah, y'all to the Super Bowl? Yeah. Right, Receiver right. Receiver or neither. pass rusher. Neither. And it protect and oh neither. Neither. <laughs> no, we need both. Neither? Neither. neither. What'd you say, cowboy? Can we neither. take both? 
<laughs> so, uh, yo, so, so, Terrence, so, so, Terrence, so, Terrence, you can segue, you can segue us because, into the next topic. The game, listen, the NFL, I'm going to put it to you like this. The games are one of the trenches, man. Edge rusher. Oh, line. Well, let me ask you this, though. Oh, line, two. Oh, line, two. The game is in the trenches. They did lose Tyron Smith. So, if you my number one, my if I'm if I'm the Cowboys, and hopefully he's still on the board. I pray he's on the board, but I doubt it. If Powers Jackson's on the board, he has to be the guy taking at the number twenty four. Uh, is, is there anybody? Is there anybody else from the draft that turned your head or you were interested in that you feel like the Cowboys should go after, even if it's not the first round specifically? And then, I mean, I, oh, and yeah, everybody I else whole, tells us I want to hear. I got, a, I got a whole list of guys that I want to be honest. Go ahead, um, go ahead. Give us your if you go give give us your wish list. Tavondre Sweat, Jackson oh, Powers. Just, okay. Um, Amarius Mims, Blake Horm. Uh, I even said it for Trey Benson. Um, okay. Uh, man, Terrence, we here to get nasty. Hypothetically, if y'all had the first overall pick, did you take a Caleb <laughs> or a Maserati Mars? I'm just trying to see where your head at is with mm-hmm. that. If we had the first, first overall pick, pick. If we had the number one overall pick, I'm trading it. Okay. okay. You like Justin Fields? Like, oh, uh, I'm talking about, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the Cowboys. I'm talking about if the Cowboys had the first overall pick. Overall pick, I'm trading it. I might take Caleb Williams. Oh, we won't take Caleb over, over that. Wait, wait, hold on. Too. I, just, I just I had to just see. Hey, man, but let's stay on that real quick. Because hold. you just talked hold. about. Hold on, time out. Honestly, honestly, like, people get too caught up. People get too caught up in the draft, man. Uh, I'm going to keep it all the way. I'm, 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 I'm going to keep it all the way stacked with you. Like, I'm never going with unproven over proven. I'm never going with that. I'm always going with proven. I'm 100 to die on, especially, but I get what you mean. especially, yeah, it is, especially, it is, especially it is, when it comes to the quarterback. Tough. Especially when it comes to the quarterback. I'm always going with proven because yeah, we've seen, yeah, you know I mean, just like they just put up the stat. But isn't but that, it, if that's well, been drafted, that there's ahead. only one quarterback to win. Well, hold on. My question, but my question, but my but my question, my question to you is this though. You've seen you've seen Teams take risks on on players in the draft and get it right. Like yeah. like if you look like if you look back on it, if you look back on it, if you look back on it, a lot of teams, your brother would have got drafted way higher, way higher, way higher. You know but what I'm saying? It was a quarterback draft. True. So what they, here's, they, here's turned my, it, they turned it into a quarterback draft. So here's my thing though. Yeah, you, they they let's let's stay on that because right. earlier you actually. just said you was talking about how you want Dak to take his forty mil so that they can help. Help out the other parts of the team. You yeah. draft Caleb. Yeah, it's a rookie contract. It's definitely right. not going to be okay. what that going to be on. There's okay. more money allocated now. again, and it's on a rookie contract. Now. More money allocated to the other parts of the are team. Are we going to? Okay, I, listen, I ain't going right, to lie to now, you. Listen, now listen, now listen, now listen. Like, hey, hey, but he does have a like no. Listen, no, no. Listen, you want listen, a listen, fan listen, listen, talk about no, listen. No, you that guy. Now I'm about to. Now I'm about to really cook. Because now I'm about to really cook. Now I'm about to really cook. Because now. Who's gonna be the front office? Is it the same front office that we already have, or is it my front office? Fox. <laughs> no, that's Fox. That's if it's Fox, the front bro. office that we well, already we, have, we because in- if it's the front office that we already have, number one, are you trusting them with drafting a quarterback? No. If it's the front office that I already have, we seen what we did when Dak was on his rookie deal. We didn't get a single fucking soul. We didn't. We didn't get a free agent. We the only thing we did was trade for Amari Cooper. That's the only thing we did. Wait, but you dropped That's an amazing. Only... You dropped an amazing offensive line. You dropped an hold amazing. No, listen, line. listen, hold, 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 listen. Hold, 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 hold that was all before that Dak there. got there. Mm-hmm. But that was all by that before same Dak group. got there. Also, the same listen, management that drafted him. Listen, the same listen, okay, okay, that okay so listen. Before Dak got so, there, Marco yeah, Mark but the same. No, but he's saying it's the same front office that drafted that whole line. Okay, you got no Chaz Greenis. Do you guys know Chaz Greenis? Yes. He was their starting left tackle for a lot of 2017. That wasn't wasn't that because he he really hasn't had what what's that? Wasn't that because your original left tackle was hurt? Listen, all I'm saying is that great offensive that great offensive line shit. That was when Tony Romo was under center. Okay, that great offensive line shit. That was when Tony Romo was under center. That he didn't get a healthy Tyron. Francis 
Travis Frederick retired. Okay. Zach, Zach Martin. Martin. Zach Martin was the only constant. The only constant. Dax first Zach Martin years, was the, the only best constant in the league. You know, Dax first three years, he had the best O-line in the league. No, he didn't. Three years, he had the best O-line in the league. No, he didn't. Zeke was the best O-line in 2018. That O-line Did Dak not come into the league in 2016? Dak won rookie in 2017. They had a top five offensive line. This was the most healthy. This was the most healthy season Tyron Smith has had, and that's because they stopped practicing him. That's facts. Okay. So that left tackle, left tackle has always been in question. L'Oreal Collins was supposed to be that, and you see they got rid of his ass too. Uh you see, you you see what the left tackle position looked like when Tyron Smith wasn't there. We lost games because of it. So what we're not gonna do is act like that's always had a t- listen in 2018 and 2018. We we let Adrian Claiborne go off for six sacks on us. On a on a playoff Bad indicating dream. game. Bad Come on, game. man. Bad Come game. on, man. But he always had an elite line. Bro, yeah. Yeah, he yeah, always yeah, had yeah. an elite line. Yo, yo, so yo, elite line can't have bad I games. I watched every elite game. lines can you just say you you can be using that for that? Wait, wait, wait. How many how many of those sacks? Hey, 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 one mic, one mic, one mic, one mic. How many of those sacks? Hold on, hold on, Chance. How many of those sacks are on Dak though? How many of those sacks are on Dak though? Dak on the ball. Listen, listen, listen. I also want to throw in there. I also want to throw in there. Just because a got a line is good at offensive run blocking doesn't mean that they're good in pass pro. Those that's don't why, always. Why, you know. Those don't always equate. But uh, exactly. right? hold on, Terrence. But Terrence, those the sacks don't equate. The sacks just like just like this it. year. Just like this year, our offense was actually pretty decent in pass pro. But when it came to the running game, it was trash. Our, run, our running game, our running game averaged two yards per carry up the middle. But Terrence, Terrence, bro, that, you can't that, win that, like that. That game, Terrence, that six sack game. How many of those were on Dak Prescott? How many times was he? I, you, the yo, ball you were looking up. That was, that was six years. That was six years ago. That was six years ago. Right here. You want me to? You want me to link it in the chat? I got. Here. I got. That. Yo, pull it up. Read it off. Read it off. I'm listen, just saying. So if we want to give him listen, passes for his interceptions, listen, he's not all on him. So we got to do the same thing. Listen, too. listen. Like I said, bro, Dak always hasn't always had. I never said the offense wasn't good, but when the offense was good, the defense was trash. When the you mean individual? Wait, 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 wait. So Dak didn't have a quarterback. This Dak didn't have a Dak didn't have a defense until Micah got there. Let's talk about it. So wait, so do you think the past three years the Dallas defense has been trash? No, I just said. Okay, he no, had the no, number one offense saying. twice in the past three years. Okay, and he like, had the like, number one offense twice, in the, so that means he had a good defense and a good offense at the same time. No, yeah, at, the, at no. that point you can't make your earlier. No. How? How? Wait, 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 no. wait, 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 wait. I do. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because he said something I want him to. He said something I want him to elaborate on. So, Terrence, you feel like the Cowboys' defense did not get shored up until your brother arrived in Dallas? Please, nobody interrupt him. Facts. Wado, like Wado, what do you think made him so impactful that it's like he changed the whole dynamic? Like, what do you think single handedly yeah. could have did that he did? Just his impact. Single handedly, single handedly. I'm a, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it to you in perspective. Is like this. All right, my very, my brother's very first training camp. Mm-hmm. He didn't take no plays off. The veterans were like, "Bro, you playing too hard. You can take plays off." That's the type of players you want in your defense, right? Just off, just that off that alone, just off that alone, mind you, we haven't had less than twelve wins since Mikey got there. Listen, I'm, I'm not disputing. I'm not disputing it. I want defense, you to just talk your defense shit. Been, defense has been top ten since Mikey got there. You know what I'm saying? Defense has been top ten since Mikey got there. And you you keep making these wait, faces. Wait, wait, you keep wait, making wait, these faces. Wait, let him go. Let him go. I need these clips. We need and, this, okay, need so this I'm about to give you. I'm about to give you the breakdown year by year because he keeps making too many faces, let, and it's making me break. mad. It's making yep. me mad. So I, I'm listen, I, know, I know. I know. I know. Them, I know. They be sniggling and giggling to get on my nerves too. I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to break it down. And a lot of them, it's it's not even like. I'm about to break it down to you, bro. So, do you want? Do you want before Micah got there or after? 
No, I, I to, agree with you. I, want to, I, I want agree to, with you 100. percent Micah part ain't finished. I agree with you. That's not before, the part I'm before making. Before Micah, hold on, because 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 I'm gonna knock out a whole bunch of bullets in one. Before Micah, or you want me to run do the whole rundown of Dak Prescott career? I do the whole Go, rundown real quick. Give me the rundown. Give us the rundown. Give us the rundown. So 20, 20, 2016, yeah, Zeke was obviously the carrier of the team, but Dak won rookie of the year. 23 touchdowns, four picks, mm-hmm. rating of 103. Right. Mm-hmm. Again, Dez was hurt. Dez, I think what what he tore he did he did something he broke his ankle some shit like mm-hmm. that he was out like eight nine games he was throwing the ball to Jason Wayne Cole Beasley, mm-hmm. boom number one seed in the NFC, mm-hmm. divisional round who we run into mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dak has an elite game mm-hmm. this is he has the best playoff performance of his career. Eight years ago. No, listen, 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 no, listen. No, mm-hmm. I get Tampa Bay. This is, oh, I, I know. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Obviously, Tampa Bay was the best one. Tampa Bay was but the best Tampa Bay was the best one. But up until Tampa Bay, this is the best one. Mm-hmm. This is the best one. Mm-hmm. Final minute, drive down the field, gets his team in the lead. Was amazing. Cool. Defense gives up a field goal in 43 seconds. Yeah, Man, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah, absolutely. Go home, sorry. Yeah, that's not on that. 2017, Zeke gets suspended six games. Mm-hmm. Offensive line trash. Mm-hmm. We missed the playoffs. I think we were like nine and seven, some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Missed the playoffs. That this is the very same game we lost to the Falcons in a playoff indicating game, six sacks, whatever. Mm-hmm. 2018, we go to playoffs again. Mm-hmm. Give up 200 rushing yards to Todd Gurley and CJ Anderson, who was just working at Foot Locker the week before. It mm-hmm. was 275, bro. It was two, they went up 275 mm-hmm. that game. Again, I don't disagree with any of this. That's not that's not why my glasses are off my face right now. I don't nah, disagree with nah, anything. Because no, nah, because I'm about to be nasty. That's major. What, what I'm saying is that's major holes. Just because yes. you have a good team don't mean you don't have major holes. Yes, so let's but, go back. So let's go back to so, so let's get forward to 2021. Fuck it. Let's mm-hmm. get forward to 2021. This mm-hmm. is this is the year they love to bring up. This is the year mm-hmm. they love to bring up. We got we got the historic team, you know what I mean? First team with 40 touchdowns, 10 two 10 sack players, you know, CD went off. Uh, that's five players. CD, Micah, Coop, uh Zeke, and uh Trey Diggs. That's five players. That's five mm-hmm. players, right? There's 22 players that play the game, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that year, Trayvon Diggs obviously. Yeah, I mean, they said he was a liability in coverage. Not so much. But on the other side of him, it was a complete liability in coverage. Mm -hmm. He's not even in the league no more. Mm -hmm. And we kept him for two extra years. Mm. So, boom. That's 2021. Boom. Then we were undisciplined. We broke the record. We broke the record for penalties in a playoff game. Gave up almost 200 yards in penalty yardage. Mm -hmm. That's on Dak. We supposed to win? And we still only lost, and, and it was still a close game. Still came down to the very end. Boom. Are you talking about that 49ers playoff game? Yeah, With the QB sneak? With the QB sneak at the end? 2021. Yeah, so with the QB yeah. sneak at the end, right? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool. all that, yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. 2022, like I said, that's the only one that I can really kind of put on deck. And if you go look at the play calling, when Tony Pollard exited the game, the whole offensive play calling went out the window. Mm-hmm. Can't can't really, okay. can't really, yeah. I mean, so and mm-hmm. you you can blame the first you you the first interception. I put that more on Michael Gallup in a piss poor route, poor effort. Mm-hmm. The second interception uh, came mm-hmm. because the whole motherfucking building knew who the fuck was getting the ball, and that was CD. Nobody else. Who else? Who could he throw the ball to? <sighs> okay, that's why he threw fifteen picks. Honestly. Mm-hmm. Mm. Honestly, mm. If we like I said, I want you mm. to go look at the. I want you to mm. go look at that year and mm-hmm. count how many drop balls for interceptions there were. And that okay, interception but year. you didn't want to do the same thing for Josh Allen. How many picks Patrick Mahomes threw this year? Just having true. Fifteen, thirteen, something like that. Thirteen. Yeah, hey, hey, one thing I will say is every every look, quarterback. Can, in the well, league, well, hold on, Cowboy, because every no, no, quarterback no, no, in the league threw a lot of picks. Well, let him year. let him repeat that. Say that again. Every quarterback in the league threw a lot of picks this year. Okay, cool, cool, Besides cool, cool, cool. That's fine. Lamar. That's fine. That is that is perfectly fine. So I'm gonna bring this back because you said something, and I'm gonna make I'm gonna clarify what you said, yeah, and I'm then I'm gonna go from it. You said 
Yo, the Cowboys have not been a top 10 defense or have been a top 10 defense every year your brother's been there. Yeah. That's correct, right? Yeah. So if you have a top 10 defense, that's considered a pretty good defense, right? Yeah, overall. And in the past overall, three years, did Dak Prescott not have a top five offense each one so of the listen, years? So listen, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me, tell me, it's tell a yes or no question. I just want to say, I just want to say, you do realize, you do realize those stats also come off playing bad teams. You know what I'm saying? So when the playoffs, you play, didn't want to use that earlier. Games, you well, didn't well, want to use that earlier, bro. You didn't want to go. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 Terrence, hold up, bro. When you brought up Dak Prescott, you were like, oh, he had a number one offense with or without Kelly Moore. You didn't bring up playing bad teams then, but now that I'm bringing up the defense, being top 10 in the past three years winning. Teams, bro. bro, hold up, hold up. You didn't it's bring up them playing bad teams, teams when they talked about them. What, 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 what I'm trying to explain to you is you can, you can have that top 10, top five offense, top five, top 10 offense. But when you get to the games that matter, and you have those holes, and you have, and on the other side of the on the other side of the field, you have a coaching staff that are able, and a team that are able to take advantage of the holes that you have on your team, you're not going to win those games. Hey, turn. Top ten offense. Turn. Hey, hey, guys. When, hey, turn. when hey, you hey, okay, hey. when you have a top ten offense and a top ten defense, every hey, team turn. isn't coming out with their best game plan every week hey, in the playoff. Hey, turn. Oh, Oh my God! You better relax. In the playoffs, hey, the game plan, hey, the game hey, plan Terrence. that you're gonna run, hey, the game plan that you're gonna run on a four or five day week is not the same game plan that you're gonna run in a all or nothing game. No, you're I not gonna tell me that. You're not gonna tell me that. The game plan that you're not gonna, the game plan that you're gonna run in the regular season is not the game plan that you're gonna run in the playoffs. Hey, we're not gonna do Terrence. this. Turn. Speaking of holes, can we talk about how out of the top ten pass rushers with edge rushers in the NFL, your brother's easily the worst at run defense and running around against him? You know why? Yeah, well, tell me why. Because he's a 6'3", 245 linebacker playing defensive end. Facts. Facts. No, Facts. 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 Yeah, Facts. Out of the right position. That's true. Not in the right position. Yeah, out of position. Yeah, he's, right. Right. Yeah, he's out, out of position. Out of position, bro. All right, there so are let's people talk, who so let's play talk about defense it. on this panel. I want to ask you guys this question. Playing the run as a linebacker and playing the run as a defensive end are two different it's things. It's way right? different. It's way yeah. different. And, 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 they, and, they didn't, and they made Michael gain all that damn weight to do that, which is gain to it, me. Gain a lot of weight, bro. This, oh, he right? did it. Yeah, I, feel like, I feel like it's unnatural thing, to do that. The only, thing, the, only thing he did, the only thing he did was tone his body up, bro. That's the only mm. thing. He gained, bro, he gained like an extra five or seven pounds of okay, muscle. Okay. That was it. Okay, bro, okay, okay. All right, so – as a linebacker, what is your instincts against the run to pursue the football? And when you're playing on the edge, you're setting an edge. You know what mm. I'm saying? Mike is the type of linebacker you funnel work into him. That's how he plays. That's how he excels in the run game. Like, Mike is a guy that needs to be put in a position. You know what I'm saying? To really – So, um, Trent, Trent Williams – Listen, 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 listen. If you, if you, if you go watch – Listen, if you go – If you go watch 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 – First of all, you can't say Von Miller because Von Miller played in the three four scheme. Um, if you go watch, if you go watch the games, number one, run any type of any type of running play to my brother, he's getting double and triple team. He's he's getting he's getting the double he's getting the double team from the tight end, and if he beats that, he's seeing the fullback. So as a defensive end, your your whole job and Run protection and run responsibility is to set a edge. You go one, two yards up the field and you sit there. Force the play back inside. Yep. All right. And that's why I say in any type of running downs, my brother should be at linebacker. Why? Mm. Because he was drafted as a top 10 <laughs> linebacker inside, <coughs> taking plays in the run. And became and a top that's five why head rusher. Doesn't and that just doesn't nah. make sense. Mike? And nah, he wasn't. He always was a listen. In high school, he was the number two <laughs> rated defensive end in high school, bro. The whole linebacker thing came at Penn State because they said you're a hell of an athlete and we're LBU. You can come in and excel 
at this position right here. Ohio State, <coughs> where he was supposed to go, that's where the whole plan and destination was, was for him to play DN, and it was going to be Nick Bosa, Chase Young, and Michael all on the same defensive line. No, hey, that would have been a better pick. pick. Go ahead. Right, J-Rob? That's a lot of excuses, Terrence. If your brother weak, just say that, man. Yo, that's crazy. What? Yo, bro, you called him Michael Weak? weak? At the, at the line, Michael Michael weak? I, mean, I don't know about him weak. He's definitely a pretty bro. elite athlete and strong. Weak yeah, is crazy. Listen, listen, weak is crazy. Yeah, he's hey, yo. You do no, you like, like, he got hey, out there, guys. Do you Stop see, do you see trolling, him? Trolling, do you trolling. see him throwing <laughs> grown men out there? He's, yeah. hey, he's Aaron, throwing Aaron, grown Aaron. men around. Aaron, Aaron, Other Aaron. grown men that Aaron. have him by a hundred pounds. Aaron, he's Aaron, throwing them around. Aaron, he's trolling. He's trolling. Yeah, he's trolling. He's saying, no, 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 no. He, but the people watching don't know he's trolling. No, they do. They don't know he's trolling. No, they, 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 not Terrence. I'm telling you. No, no, Terrence, Terrence, no, Terrence, 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 welcome, no, Terrence, brother, welcome to Terrence, Player's Choice, bro, I want you to know, the community is rocking with you in here, bro, I ain't gonna I'm telling I'm not, they rocking with you. The, the two players nah, I'm not slandering. But you patrolling us, though. Yeah, you patrolling like I'm not telling. I'm not taking no slander. Oh, uh, we know. We know. We, 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 no, no, wait, wait. So wait. Can we ask we, you we another you question? Can we, can we ask you a question? Yeah, the Dak. The Dak. No, I think you too protective. But listen, listen. Your brother. Listen, I can no, understand your bias. I understand listen. your bias towards your brother. But we yeah, also want to know. Listen, because that was a way the Cowboys get done one draft pick. Your brother was on a one way ticket to Chicago. You know that, right? Listen. They're not trying, Michael. They Wait, what did you say? He would be on a one-way ticket to Chicago if y'all thought I could get number one pick for him. Oh, no. that, right? Uh-huh. No. If y'all no. had it, he no. would trade it. Yo, no. bro, no. I actually cover no. the team. No. I actually talk no. to people who know no. things within that organization. No. If they no. could do that, they would not do that. Because now no. you're trading your quarterback and your edge rusher for a quarterback who hasn't played in the league. Listen. Yeah, they're, they're not doing that. They're, yeah, they're not doing that. They're yeah. not doing Listen, that. Man. One thing. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. You're not trading a guy to find another guy just like him. You're not going to do that. Right. You're not going to do that. Oh, you're not going to do that. Is like is Dak Prescott? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You think Caleb Williams' ceiling is Dak Prescott? Wait, 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 flag. Wait, you think – wait, is he talking about Caleb, about Caleb no, Williams' ceiling is Dak no. Prescott? No, I'm talking oh. about – I'm talking about period. Right. You're not you're not gonna Ooh. trade Pat Mahomes to try to find the next Who's Pat trolling who? Hey, you're not Mahomes, gonna though. Listen, it, it's a it's a it's a meta it's a metaphor. Okay, yeah, it's like you're that. not gonna trade Micah to find mm-hmm. another Micah. Right. right. You know what okay, I'm saying? You're, you're just yeah, not gonna okay. do that. You're not gonna right, do that, right, bro. Right. You're gonna and, keep and I'm, so, I'm trade Dak Prescott to find the Joe Burrow though. Hey, Caleb, you would Williams, trade you Dak Prescott for Joe Burrow right now. Listen. So you would trade. So you would trade. Jack, you would definitely trade Dak Prescott then for uh, Shador Sanders because that's Joe Burrow right there. Hell no! Oh hell no! <laughs> what about for Joe Burrow? What about just for Joe Burrow, Jack? Would you trade Dak? I don't for Joe care. Right now? Yo, Tegan, yeah, Tegan, Tegan, don't, Tegan, Tegan, you said I ain't gonna lie, Tegan. You said you either had the most tools. That's so Teddy you just leave me alone. I'm gonna go grab the cowboy hat. Leave me alone. 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 Leave me alone, Tegan. I didn't say nothing for a reason, J. Rob. I just. You know I'm still delusional. Hey, listen, that's why I know, no, Terrence. I know, would you I trade Dak for? I'm, I'm would you trade bust, Dak man. For, I'm for, J, for, for Joe Burrow straight up? If they offered you Joe Burrow for Dak, would you trade Dak for Joe Burrow? <laughs> this is crazy. This is you know, crazy. He don't want to answer depends. that. He don't want. It what about depends. Herbert? What about it de- Herbert? It depends. It depends. It depends on the Joe Burrow that we're gonna get. You know what I'm saying? If, hey, it's, the, if, it's, the, it's, the, if it's the Joe Burrow from last year, y'all can keep him. I mean, he got hurt. I mean, we got hurt. I know. I know. I know. But you, you do know the le- you do know, know when he got hurt the first time he came back and went to the Super Bowl. The same season mm. he was talking about earlier. The same um, one. We've seen that. him come back off of injuries and still be Joe Burrow. If we're talking about that, 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 being lie. healthy yeah. and making the playoffs, Yo, Joe Burrow Terrence. being healthy, he's making the AFC championship. But Terrence, I ain't going to lie. The one thing, I am, the one thing I am disappointed about that I feel like you haven't mentioned at all, and I'm kind of surprised about it, is like, you, you, talked about the, you talked about the Cowboys, but why don't we talk, talk to us about the fact that y'all could only beat up on – average at best teams like why couldn't y'all mm-hmm. face other teams that were at y'all standard throughout the year like what do you attribute that to because that's why i asked you earlier about high pressure games because i, I think you know i play i play big level football I, you you know you obviously are in the game you play my question is 
you know that some games do mean more, even in the regular season, just from the mental battle of it. You know, maybe you want a crash course because both teams are undefeated, little things like that. And I felt like the Cowboys fell short at a lot of times in that area this year. And I think it re-showed itself when they played against the Green Bay Packers. What do you attribute? What do you think you attribute that to? They beat three I mean, honestly, NFC playoff teams. But, but, but I say, honestly, and if we're talking about the regular season, the only bad one was the Niners, bro. The only bad one was the Niners. Well, not, the only bad one was the and Niners. Bills. And the Bills. The, the Bills. No, no, I was, no, I was going to get there. I was going to say the Bills, oh. too. I was going to say the Bills, too. But, like, the way we lost wasn't like – wasn't like it was like a road game. I'm saying like most of the games that we lost were on the road against good teams. And like I said that too. Like it's hard to beat good teams on the road. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I ask? Can I just say something though, real quick? You're gonna I, say I, something I, about the Packers? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna say nothing about the Packers, Terrence. It's, I'm, I'm really responding to Cowboy because he tried to sneak in that little comment. But listen, this was the this was the start to your. This, listen, this this is. This was the, we beat. This, I, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I, all right, all right. But let me just let me just say the opening teams y'all played. But honestly, but honestly, it comes coaching. But all I'm saying Coaching. is to start your year, y'all played the Giants, Jets, Cardinals, Patriots, 49ers. Then y'all played Chargers, Rams, Eagles, Giants, Panthers, Commanders, Seahawks. Now, if y'all going to be honest about the Rams and, and look at that win that y'all beat a playoff team, knowing damn well that what we all know the Rams are, who really snuck into the playoffs by the skin of their teeth. And to look at that as like an impressive oh, win. They, they had to turn their whole season around to do that. Oh, J. Rob, you had to turn their whole season around to do that. But I'm not saying that. But I, what I'm saying is, they, they hold on, hold on. Like well, y'all not. What, I, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, y'all are supposed to be a superior team, and I feel like we had to play teams who y'all are that don't up. play up to the standard. So I'm asking. The Bills and the 49ers. I'm not putting that on one player. I'm putting that on the team. It's a team thing. I'm asking y'all about. What I want to say is, do you realize before the season they were questioning whether or not we were going to make the playoffs? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, no it's not. Why are we lying? No, right Y'all had the five seed locked. We had the y'all had the five seed locked before the season started. Nah, bro. They said nah, that we bro. Were gonna have we're not letting wins. him do this right now. That's a bad no, We're not anyway. letting him do this right no now. Got the no, 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 no. When it comes to the Cowboys, you want to bet? You want to bet? No, 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 no. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull. Who said that? Who said that? I'm not. I'm not gonna hold you. I will pull the season tricks right now. When total betting was nine and a half, it was nine and a half. Yeah, but the highest one is 11 and a half. Wait, 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 time out, time out. One mic, one mic, wait, 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 hold on, Terrence, one mic, one mic, because we already at, it's 353, we almost at our time, and let me just get through these super chats real quick. Shout out to JJTV with the $5 super chat. Hey, man, I just want to say, y'all been using my killing the credibility jab these past two weeks. Shorty was emotional as F these past two weeks. I love what you're talking about. Shout out to Trent J-Rob. I'm from the rack for show. The Tegan Randolph show. We just giving a pass to getting fried to DK. Talking about Deron Bland. Drink more water on Jair's pick. All contact was within five yards. And then Lonnie, shout out to Lonnie. What kind of player can the Cowboys get to fully maximize Michael? Do they need a pass rusher or another linebacker to fully maximize his skill set? We need defensive tackle. You don't like Mozzie? No. Hey, yeah, hey, maybe, maybe, what? maybe Mozzie before they asked him to lose 30 pounds. <laughs> hey, hey, here's the thing though. They had defensive ends this year that they could have used and they could have put Micah off ball. That linebacker, they really yeah. did. Bro, like Sam Williams, then, I'm telling you this right listen, now. Though, but listen, bro, though, bro, right. listen though, bro. They just haven't the given reason, them the opportunity. The reason why they didn't want to do it is because even when you look at that Packers game, when Micah didn't rush the passer, look how much time was back there. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I be understanding why we don't do certain shit, but at the same time, it's just like when you know a team doesn't want to pass and they want to run the ball, there's no reason for them not to be a linebacker. That'd be my thing. And uh, hey. I'm still not over the fact that you really hey. thought that the Cowboys weren't going to make the playoffs. That still blew. No, I think first of all, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. What hey. I said was, all season takes were the Cowboys weren't going to make the playoffs. We of course, have- out of ev- so of course, out of a lot of people, there's gonna be those few that are just delusional. But 
general no, consensus, no, they had the five seed locked. We just didn't think the Eagles were going to fall off the way they did. That was that was the more shocking thing. The <laughs> Eagles falling that far than the Cowboys yeah. missing the playoffs. There was, yeah. the, I thought the Cowboys had the five seed locked. Because when you came into the season, beginning nobody the season. was worried about the and beginning of the season before a game had been played. Nobody was well, worried about the NFC. I was now. hearing. We I all thought hearing. the Lions had that division locked up, and then the Packers came and, up out of nowhere. I, even though the even though the Vikings did get hurt, we still thought the Lions after the after the way they ended last year, we knew they had their division locked up. It was the 49ers listen, and Eagles listen, one and listen. two. But That's what understand. we thought, but, and then, the, gotta, and then the Cowboys got the five you gotta, locked No, you got you, you got to understand that before the uh, before the season started, niggas had teams in the playoffs, and it wasn't Dallas. They thought that the Eagles are going to be the only team representing the NFC East this year in the playoffs. They I'm really not lying. That, but if, if you're talking about before the like season started, there's no way unless they are just like legit Steven Cowboy haters. Cow, yeah, That's like Steven unless they're like one of those guys. There's no way general consensus people who actually know this game. Listen, I had this the Cowboys didn't have the phone right on. now. But we hear crazy takes all the time, right man. Now. Like people are saying JJ McCarthy should be drafted over Jaden Daniels. Like we hear hold crazy on, hold takes. On. Listen, that, that that's not necessarily a crazy take. Oh my god! No! <laughs> no! No, no are you trolling? No, 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 no. <laughs> Are you <laughs> serious? <laughs> you're serious? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Before y'all start acting crazy, let him explain. Let him explain. Before y'all start acting crazy, before, exactly, before y'all start <laughs> acting crazy, please allow me to explain. Before y'all start ahead, acting crazy. Go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no. Because, listen, listen, away. listen, Put listen. Put that listen. hat away. Listen. That happened. You got to understand, you got to understand, okay? J.J. McCarthy is the more NFL-ready quarterback. J.J. <laughs> McCarthy is the biggest fraud in the draft. He's the biggest fraud in the draft. He's AJ McCarthy. Leave the stuff. Biggest fraud in the draft. He's AJ McCarthy. Leave the stuff with JJ McCarthy. Listen, listen, listen. That's a casual take. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. I'm not. Listen, listen, listen. What is going on today? That's the casual take. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Jaden Daniels don't have more ability. I'm not saying nothing like that. What I am saying is JJ McCarthy just came from a system where he was in a pro ready system. He wasn't dependent on to do a lot. And when he was dependent on, he got the job done. He won. He won a championship. Like He's used like to that. winning. That's, That's why I'm like saying that. that is not I a I thought winning is a team of I'm like that. It is. It is. But we understand Dak is a winner. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We understand. Listen, and when you go and when you look at the entirety of Dak, Dak was at Mississippi State and number one in the land. Fuck what you talking about. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 that was like five weeks into the season, bro. That was like week six listen, or week five of the, of listen, the season. Listen, Lord have mercy. Listen, I can't believe you listen, just went out there and said listen, that. Listen, no, listen, State, hey, listen, 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 but also, we do need to talk about is that you know Dak really never won no positions. Guys just got hurt and he ended up filling in. But why he can never beat none of them boys at camp? Like why he always got to be the feeling guy? Because, because it comes. Uh, so listen, 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 listen. I just think, look, I just think the guy that listen, feels the, I think he becomes listen. the feeling guy when it's the most, when it's most important. Listen, I think when no, Dak no, is playing listen. with house money, when he's playing with his, with all the chips and all the bread and listen. everything is cooking, it's good. But when it gets uncomfortable. Yeah. He turns it into goes, that guy that couldn't nah, be the starter. It goes, nah, it goes, it goes, nah, like it goes, nah, game. it goes back to, it goes back to what I said previously, bro. When you look at that, bro, he 
nothing in his game screams elite. But then when you go watch him play, you scream elite. No, you don't. Like, how you does nothing? Really? Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, Terrence. I, I, how does, how does nothing about his game scream elite until you watch him play? Then it's elite. Because, all right, sense? because he doesn't have it. All right. So when you look at Josh Allen, he has elite arm talent, elite arm strength. When you look at Pat Mahomes, he has elite arm talent, elite arm strength. When you look at Aaron Rodgers, he has elite arm talent, elite arm strength. That mm-hmm. has neither. Uh-huh. He I, I, and he doesn't and he doesn't run real fast. So who's the better? And he doesn't football? run real fast. Lamar Jackson or that? All right, yeah. can we stop acting like the quarterback Oof. position is just arm talent? Can we just stop? Wait, 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 no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. It's not that, but Dak Prescott ain't running the ball either. Well, listen, no, listen, no. Oh, it's this listen, argument. It's the between the listen, ears argument. Listen, listen, it's no, the listen, between no, the ears. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Time out. Does that not matter for the position? Time out, time out, time out, though, time out, though, time out. Didn't they have to simplify the offense? Nothing. They don't want Dak making mistakes. No. They put the they put the whole offense in Dak's hands. They put the whole offense in Dak's hands. Dak was making the calls from the line of scrimmage, checking. All of that. What are you talking about? That whole that whole ready to go cadence. That was all Dak running the offense. So because he said, here we go as a, yeah. as a to, that to whole snap cadence. the ball to snap the ball. Here we go. That's that's what he changed. Oh yeah. First of all, actually no, actually no. That, Bro, that Mike McCarthy too. said before the season he wants Doc to take control of the offense, and he, he took control had, of the he offense. He was making – bro, if you go if you go look at the Aaron Rodgers – He also interview, said he wanted to run the ball at the start of the season. But what about Aaron Rodgers yeah, saying okay. that Doc was doing a really good job playing, actually playing the bro, position? Yeah. Bro, bro, Giannis said no, once no, upon a time that, that LeBron was better than him when we all knew it was a lie. I don't – like, Terrence. that's – I don't care. <laughs> like, that, Terrence, that, that, that do you think Doc should have won MVP this year? Yes. Explain why. Explain hey, why. he had MVP style. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Had, so did Brock Purdy. So did hey, Brock Purdy. Hold on, listen, Thank listen, you. listen. My whole, my whole argument, early. my whole argument on Dak should have won MVP. I th- me, me, me personally, I think it was for contracts. Me personally, but if we go look at the numbers, if we go look at the numbers, right? Lamar had four or five games where. He threw for, I think it was like. Uh, Dak was the best had, third down quarterback in football too. Quarterback down. Um, it was. It, it was. It was. It was I forget what it was. It, it, it was a stat. Him. It was a stat where Lamar had. Um, it was like no inter, no interception. It was like two touchdowns and no interception games. Two touchdowns, no interception yeah. games. Right. Lamar, Lamar Lamar had four Lamar had four or five Lamar had four or five games with two touchdowns no interceptions. Dak had four or five games the whole season when it didn't happen. So so you have the you MVP, you you, the you, you, you see what I'm saying? Like what, 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 no, what I'm what I'm saying is do you feel, do you do you feel, what, what no what, what I'm saying is do you see what I'm saying? The MVP award is the most valuable player. How yeah, are you true. not the listen? How are you not the most valuable player when you had to carry? You didn't have a run game. You only had per Did se. It? You only had one receiver. Your defense no, didn't your show defense up. Hold on, listen. Out. Please, what are you talking about? Please, please, no, please stop. Hold up. Listen, running. listen. Stop you running. just said. Running. You just said the Ravens had a historical defense. Won the triple crown. How is he no, a no, fucking no, no, Because everybody that was good, y'all played. Y'all lost to Terrence. Y'all lost to everybody that was worth a damn, Terrence. The 49ers. They got blown out. Y'all lost to everybody that was worth a damn, Terrence. The 49ers. They got blown out. They did bring up a nasty stat that the Patriots had more wins against winning teams with winning records than the Cowboys and Dolphins. Listen, that was Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. The Patriots had more wins against winning teams with winning records than the Cowboys? Yeah, where's that? Is that true? Then no. Oh no! Against teams with winning records, against teams with winning records, and I forgot the fact that the, the, the Patriots, the Patriots won more games against teams with winning Wait. records than the Dolphins and Cowboys. That's Wait. why everybody was looking at the Cowboys. They said they said the Cowboys and Dolphins were the same team. They got the same exact struggle. We need to the middle of the season. And if they got that a regular the it, it, against winning records, you said, right? That yeah. was in the middle of the season. Record. 
That was in the middle of the season. What? That was literally in the middle of the season. So right now I'm counting one. I'm going down their schedule. One. That was three and four against winning teams. Dude, Dude man, that's, that's, that's not an MVP, team. my boy. Won, but guess what? What if I was to tell you in 2019 when Lamar won MVP, and he was three and four against the winning teams? What if I was to tell you in 2019 when Lamar won MVP, he was three and four against winning teams? What if I was to tell you? You got Lamar over Dak, not me. Now you want to quit Lamar? Hey, hold on, wait, Terrence. Wait, hold on. Then you keep bringing Lamar. What I said was, was Dak had a better year than Lamar this year and should have won. Wait, but I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to combat what you just said. How do you say in 2019 Lamar the teams versus winning records was three and four and they went 14 and two? Ether. Ether. Nigga, how was they two? <laughs> when he won the MVP in 2019, they were 14 and two, number one seed, and they lost to the Titans. What do you mean that's no. cap? Hey. Also, by your same logic about most valuable, they went 14 I mean, and two. You can make an argument for Josh Allen for sure. Talk about the percentage of touchdowns that he scored first. Yeah, you, you gonna tell oh. me Josh Allen? No, hey, no wait, wait, Terrence. Terrence, go look at that record because they were they, well, they were 14 and two. Josh Allen was 100 percent more valuable to his own team than Dak Prescott. They, they were 14 and two. No, no, no. not 100 percent, not 100 percent at all. No. Oh my God, Yo, Josh Allen. No, no, no. Yo, Yo. They think Dak Prescott is more valuable to the Cowboys than Josh Allen. Are you crazy? No, 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 no. Cowboys, explain to me right now. How is Dak more valuable than Josh Allen? You know, this is the thing. This is the thing. Listen, 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 listen. Yo, when they were losing, when they were losing all those games, when they were losing all those games and they fired your offensive coordinator, guess what? Their new offensive coordinator, the step in offensive coordinator, literally came in and said, We need to run the fucking ball. Because they didn't run the ball. That's not Josh Allen's fault. That's not because yeah, I don't. I don't know. Exactly. 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 So, so you can blame the coaching. That's a terrible point. And also, Josh Okay. How are you MVP and your team needs to run the Okay. Also, you know. Okay. You keep bringing up Allen. Hey, hold on. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. No. But it's hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, time out. Y'all love bringing up the turnovers. Y'all know what Josh Allen also did? What he accounted for? Eighty-five fucking team touchdowns by himself. Who else is doing that in the league? He accounted for eighty-five percent. He accounted for 85% of touchdowns. 85. Jalen Hurts. That's cap. That's straight bullshit. Jalen Hurts didn't account for that. That's not cap. Yes, he did. That's Josh Allen is the only person. Josh Allen definitely. How many touchdowns did Josh Allen have? Nigga, he had like 40 something. He like 30 something. Jalen Hurts definitely accounted for 85% of those offense. What are we doing, bro? What? No, no, no. That's not a question, bro. Because Jalen Hurts does the same thing that Josh Allen does. Huh? Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts is the same thing Josh Allen is. Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me Josh Allen has a Devontae Smith, A.J. Brown, and Dallas Goddard? First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all. With the best old line in the world, second best old line in the league? First of all, that's not what I'm talking about. baby, best. That's not what I'm speaking to. Because the Lions, I don't need to be studying the lab. That is not what I'm speaking to. The I'm all over Miles facts, Saunders facts. need to be studied yeah, in the yeah, lab. Yeah, yeah, that is facts. I'm, also, too, I'm I just confirmed that the Ravens to, were 14 and 2 when he won MVP. 14 and I'm 2. Speaking to, I'm, I'm speaking to, I'm speaking to, I'm speaking to, as far as the offensive production. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Josh Allen running. Josh Allen's running backs don't do well, just like Jalen Hurts running backs don't do well because they run the football well. Huh? Did, did Miles Sanders not have 1,400 yards with them? Did Miles Sanders when, not have 1,400? Hold on, hold on. B- b- before, before Jalen Hurts got paid? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, my. Hey, hold on. Did DeAndre Swift not have a good year? Wait, wait, wait. What? Wait, did DeAndre Swift not have a good year? DeAndre Swift was top five in rushing this year. Yeah, that wasn't hard to do. Oh, nigga, you just said it. Yo, hey, you, hey, you know who it is hard to do? Hey, hey, you know who it is hard to do? Hey, you know who it is hard to do for, though? Hey, you know who it is hard to do for? Hey, you know who it is hard to do for, though? Hey, you know who it is hard to do for, though? Hey, you know who it is hard to do for, though? Hey, you know who it is hard to do for? But that's because for? they have an elite offensive line, Tony right? Pollard. Tony Pollard. It's hard for him to get. It's hard to hey, get. Hey, can, can we just get something out of the way here? Can we stop Tony acting Pollard like Josh Allen doesn't have a good yards came after Can contact. we stop you, you have, no, no, Cowboy, I want to hear none of that shit because y'all act like that don't got to go for spray cast either. I ain't no, trying to hear that. No, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I ain't trying to hear that. Hold up, hold up. When did I say that Doc didn't have a good supporting cast? Oh, y'all. Me. Me. 
I said no, it's I, ain't I think me, me Let's hold. Let's me, not act like Josh Allen supporting cast just Picasso, my nigga. Let's not do this I either. I never said that. I just said let's stop acting like it's bad because it's not. Nobody says yeah. it's bad. When you have a number one, you have to find things. Hold 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 you do hold not hold have a trash supporting cast. Let's stop doing it. It's the same thing with the Cowboys then. You have seen the land. You don't have a bad supporting cast. Hold up. Hold up. Time out. I never said that. Hold up. Time out. Dawson Knox wasn't better than Schultz. Get the fuck out of here. Schultz wasn't even on the team last year. He was What's on the Texans. I'm talking about. I'm talking. I'm talking about before. I'm talking about before. Oh, I'm before no, that? No, 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 no. no. Dawson, Sh- Dawson Knox has never been better than Dawson Schultz. Next. There's a Next. reason why they got Dawson Kincaid. They wanted to. They wanted to replace Dawson Knox. If Dawson Knox was that good, they would have never drafted Dawson Kincaid. There's a reason why Schultz is about to be on his third team in three years. Okay, and even in and then if we talk about this year, Jake Ferks is better than any tight end they got. The Bills got right now. Facts. I agree. I agree. No, yeah. here's my oh, thing, Trent. Yeah. Trent, here's yeah. the thing. Austin right, Knox has never go. been over I'm 600 yards in a season. Huge. What? Yeah, but Jake I'm Ferguson didn't just do that. Just barely got that. Bro, here's the thing. Here's the no, thing. It's not. It's a second year. This. Can we stop acting like Josh Allen has a trash support cast? I'm not he saying doesn't. it's great. Nope. I'm I'm not not Dave Davis is a better number two than, like, than oh, we've had since Cooper. Allen has nothing around him. Than, you think Gabe Davis is better than Brandon Cooks? In our system, yeah. Oh, no. Nah. In our system, yeah. In our system, yeah. You think Shakir is better than Michael Gallup? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, Michael Gallup is this poor. Michael wait, Gallup you said wait, 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 wait. You said who's better than Mike? Ass. Wait, Michael Gallup is Michael Gallup is, Michael, Michael Gallup is yes. Cut. Khalil Shakir is better than Michael, Michael Gallup, Gallup is about to be cut, and he will not. Oh, wait, hold on. I know we're not. I know we're not only Khalil Gallup fuck is Shakir, really bad Gallup. now. He's both not good. There's no point in arguing that shit. Dave Davis sucks, so I don't want to hear no Gabe Davis. He's garbage. I see Dave Davis. Dave Davis not even top forty. Dave Davis not even top fifty. But I didn't see him make too many plays. I didn't see him make. You saw him. Hey, you saw him make too many plays. That one playoff game. I see Michael Gallup make plays. I see what's his name make. Come on. Wait, pause, 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 pause. You seen? You seen Gabe Davis make so many plays? Didn't Michael Gallup have eleven hundred yards one year? What five Before years? Hey, bro. Five years ago. That was five, five years ago. ago. Five just years like, ago. Yeah, just like how y'all talk about Dak best playoff win seven years ago. Who gives a fuck? No, no. I no, said I said ago. his one was, was Tampa Bay. That was last. So year. Was so ago. it took Dak from his rookie year to how many years in the league to finally have another good playoff game? Now nah, Seattle first was first a first good play. First first he had all good. He had all good playoff games until he played good against San Fran. Seattle and LA. Yeah, that's drunk. That's drunk. He had all good playoff games until fucking San Fran. So he had all good playoff games till San Fran. All good playoff games. Yes. He, my my biggest thing for for you, Terrence, is that you keep on saying Dallas Cowboys have flaws. Do you think there's any perfect teams in the NFL? Um, they're no, all flaws, first right? Of all, no, no. First of all, first of all, first of all, flaws. Don't got to be flaws when you have good coaching. You know what I'm saying? Or, but when you're lacking both, when you're, when you, when you're lacking good coaching and you got flaws, how can you expect to beat good teams like that? Okay, so for instance, the 49ers were the most complete team in football this year. Right? Right. Followed by the Ravens, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They both have little to no holes and they have great coaching. Correct. Right. Last mm-hmm. year, Philly, their only major hole was the linebacker position. They had one of the greatest D lines of all time. They had one of the most complete teams in. The, they had the best team in the league last year, and they still didn't get the job done. You know what I'm saying? Like, just but you know where they got to? The conference championships. Congrats. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. But what I'm saying is, y'all yeah. lost to a first year Jordan Love, and you doing that? Come on, gang. 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 Was they celebrating participation trophies too? Listen. Yes, they were participating. They were celebrating participation trophies. Listen, I'm not happy because you won a playoff game. All I'm saying is, when um, all I'm gonna say is, when has Dak had a team like that? That's what I told Philly last year. When has Dak had a team like Dalen Hurts had? When has team? When has Dak had a team like Dalen Hurts had? Never. When has Dak had a team like Brock Purdy just had? Never. 
Hey, but like, you y'all said he you had a number one offense at a like y'all, bro, y'all basically listen, told me for the past bro, three up, years. Hold up, hold up, hold up, bro, he's had a top ten listen, offense. Listen, hold up, hold up. Y'all told more, me the past y'all three years. More, y'all making it more like, than what it is. No, because if you're gonna tell me you're gonna have a good coaching staff, hold up, hold up. If you're going to tell me, if you're going to tell me, if you're going to tell me that Dak Prescott is a top five, top three quarterback, and y'all had for the past three years and you still need ten. Hold up. Yeah, he had a top 10 offense and a top 10 defense, according to you. You said they got top 10 with the brother need got help. There. You still need players to step oh, up in big time up. games. You also need your quarterback to step up in big time games. And he doesn't. Snapped. No. Yes, he does. No. Tampa Bay and Green Bay his rookie year. Yo, he did. listen. Tampa listen, Bay listen, and listen. Green Bay his rookie year, for sure. Up until last year, up until last year, the Cowboys have never – Especially under Dick Prescott, never went into an 11 or 12 win season and gotten better. We always get worse because we think we don't need no fucking body. And that's a fucking fact. Go look at it. Any offseason we had besides last year, two years ago, two years ago, we lost to San Fran by what, six fucking points? And then we go and train our best fucking receiver and don't get nobody to replace him. Are you talking about Amari Cooper? Wait, wait. Are you talking about Amari Cooper? Yes. You said he never cooked. He never cooked. Right. He, he wasn't that valuable to you. Receiver. He wasn't that best. valuable to you because you said he never cooked. Because of fucking Kellen Moore and the receiver bike. And, and we're going to, first of all, number one. The King Allen. Number, first of all, Allen. number one, number one, I'm going to put it to you like this. In 2018, when we traded for Amari Cooper, we were three and four, right? We were three and four. Like I said, Alan Hearns was our number one fucking receiver. Do y'all even know who the fuck Alan Hearns is? Alan Hearns, yes, Alan Hearns, Alan Hearns, Alan Hearns, and Alan Robinson out. Man. They actually was thunder and lightning down there in Jacksonville. Yes, they were. So let's yeah, they were. Listen, Alan Jaguars. Hearns. Don't him do him Alan Hearns Robinson. like that because he was Ooh. undrafted coming out of Miami, and him and Alan Robinson they really went crazy down there in, in, ja- in Jacksonville. Yeah, that's why. Don't do Alan Robinson. It was more Alan Robinson. Don't do that. They both had. They both had the They both had equal color. They called him Keenan McCardell and Jimmy Smith 2.0. You're not just going to do that. Like, they, yeah, they, they really called them both yo, 2.0. Yo, that's what you call overhyping. Now, I will, I will give you this. I will give you all this, Cowboy. I will give you all this. Amari Cooper was very sometime when he came to the Cowboys. No. I don't know if it was something with, play I don't know if it was someone with the offensive coordinator, but I will give you all that. He was just listen. not – he was not mentally there. Like, he yo, didn't have games listen. where he felt like playing. He has listen, games where he didn't no, play, so I'll give y'all that. No, listen, listen, listen. I, it goes deeper than on the field, bro. It goes talk, way it like deeper than on the, the field. In the listen, league. bro. That's you the way said, listen, listen, ahead, listen, listen, listen. You just said. I just want to say something real quick. You just said some games that felt like he didn't want to play, right? Now, what, what game was that? What game was that? What game was that? What game? I forget what game it was, but. I think it was the Lions game. It was it was one of the games where CD was cooking early, frying that shit, and then he didn't get the ball for two fucking quarters. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, but that happens. Listen, no, 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 no. It happens in Dallas. Listen, <laughs> bro. Listen, we didn't see Tyreek Hill cooking, listen, and then listen, they couldn't get him listen, the ball again because listen, of the defense listen, rotation. Listen, rotation no, no. Please just listen to me real quick. Please All just right. listen to me real quick. In 2018, when we were three and four, we traded for Coop. Right? When we traded for him, he was still on his rookie contract. When we got him, we went five and one. When we got him, we went five and one and made it to the playoffs. Right? Like we paid him 100 million dollars. Right? Paid him $100 million, right? Two years later, we go and draft CD, right? Now they're start, Now they're talking, CD got to get the ball. We're, 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 receiving, we're receiving group by committee. Never did we ever, ever target Coop as much as we just start targeting CD this year. Never did we ever do that. We never used him the way that – we never used Coop the way we just used CD. This year was the first time on offense where I sat back and I was like, damn, Mike, Mike out there calling plays, rub routes, all of that. Like CD, a lot of the times was running wide the fuck open. It was never like that for Coop. Kellen Moore wasn't calling that type of offense. Yeah, you know I mean, it's a different, it's just a difference. And the only reason why Coop even got traded 
was because Coop was speaking out against Kellen Moore and what the fuck he was doing. Especially, you know I mean, in the bigger games when uh, Kellen Moore, all he want to do is run stop routes and comeback routes. You know what I mean? When people watch film and they're going to sit on those routes. Yeah, I mean, I'll pull up an interview right now where Cooper was like, they've been sitting on the, the – it was a game against Philly. They were like, bro, they've been sitting on the stop route, comeback route the whole game. She, Coop gets into the game. Coop goes right to Dak and says, bro, they call another fucking stop route. Coop said, I'm not running that shit. I'm running deep. Dak said, bro, just run the play. Dak gets to the line. He actually all over the play, and we score a touchdown to win the fucking game. Like, it's just shit like that, bro. Like, it's just more than what goes on in the field, bro. Like, production is always about coaching, bro. Your coach has got to want to get you the ball. Your coach has got to want to want to see you succeed and want to see you shine, and that's what you pay a motherfucker for. We, 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 we watched our front office turn the whole – the whole organization against Coop because why? Exactly what he just said. He don't show up in big time games. No, we didn't get him the ball in big time games. There's a difference. There's a Go big ahead, difference. Go ahead, can, I ask, can I ask a question to the to Terrence big and difference. Cowboys? Um, because you mentioned the has not had like a team like the Eagles and the 49ers, which is understandable. I'm not denying that. Have they had a team on the level of the Joe Burrow Bengals team that made the Super Bowl? Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, so look, that, I got so that, 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 that Bengals team. Like, but you, then, but then it, again, I it comes down to coaching, you, coaching, and your players actually stepping up. You're moving. So but lose, but, but you, you don't give grace to I, I, Justin I, Herbert and the Chargers. Justin, uh, here you got to watch. I watched Justin Herbert blow a 21 point lead. <laughs> is that not, is that not on the defense not stepping up? Yeah, but what also you just the said, you need the defense to step up. That is what you just said. Terrence, you always you've been talking about it is the team thing. That is what you just said, Terrence. Yo, you've been saying it, the whole but time but tell with the defense, the defense gotta get stops, right? Bro, you guys were doing this for a How the fuck do you think they got a 21 point lead? How the fuck do you think they got a 21 point lead? How you think they blew it? Why they blew it? How did they get in the first place? Because the defense how did they blow it? Now how did they blow it? Like what y'all said. Coaching the same way, the same way the Falcons blew it. Coaching, coaching and defense. Hold up, hold up, hold up. If Herbert's that guy like you guys tell me is, and I, I like Herbert. They couldn't run the ball like how y'all say with the Cowboys. Like what y'all bitches complain about the Cowboys. They couldn't run the ball. Off the Eckler's ass. Off the Eckler's fantasy football merchant. They couldn't run the ball because he sucks. So I want to hear that shit. Talk about Justin no, Herbert's that guy. No, they couldn't run the ball. Literally, literally, literally everything y'all have complained about the Cowboys. Listen, everything y'all oh, have complained about the Cowboys. Listen, everything y'all have complained about the Cowboys, the coaching, the defense not getting stops when it matters most, not being able to run the ball, play calling, all of that what, you can attribute to what, the Chargers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever in your natural born fucking life seen Dak blow a 21 point lead? Never. I'm, Oh, actually, 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 Never. I'm pretty Never. sure he has. Never. When did they? Hey, when Never. did they lose to the? Uh, it, when they started one and three, when they started one and three, and the only reason they won that first game was because the Falcons couldn't recover one onside kick at all. I'm yeah, he sure. came back for 26 points. No, no, no. But I think in that stretch, that they that. also – no, in that stretch, they also blew a 20-point lead. I think it was to the Browns. No, 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 they didn't. I don't think they did. I, I think I, it I was. Think I think it was. I could be wrong. Hey, but hey, hey, don't hey, give hey, me – hey, hey, Dak has blown some leads, Let's not act like that. Hey, Bama, can I give a – the Chargers – Tegan, did the Chargers not get four turnovers that game? I think Bama's – Yeah, in the first quarter. In the first quarter. What? The Cowboy. What is the most – I'm Cowboy. What is the most important? What is the most important? What is the most important half of football? First or second, nigga? The second half. Well, what the fuck did they do in the second half? And in the that's second half, they didn't not stop not them one time. What are you talking about? In the second half, they didn't stop them one time. The Jaguars the, the scored me get, on you, every single drive. And why on did, every and why single why drive, the Jaguars scored. So, 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 thank you. Thank you for pointing out. Why why so they got the oh, okay. Hey, hey, so, Terrence, why couldn't the offense score against the Packers this past playoff game? I, I know. They no, did. I, I'll they did. Whatever they did. Went after they were they down 30 to 10? No, we sc we scored oh, a touchdown right before half and got points and right after half. Can, can, can I can I ask you a question? Ten points. Ten points. Hold up, hold up. Because I were down twenty-one. Hold on. And if the defense, but guess what? Guess what? 
if the defense gets us, if the defense goes out there and get a stop, and we get some more points, it ain't twenty one. If the somewhere, defense go, oh, Bama, I, I, oh, Hold on. I got a question. I got a question because you guys just. Yeah, what's topic? your question? What's your question? So, if I listen, if, turn if, Dax, up, if, Dax, if Dax, Dax defense got four turnovers, he's winning the game. Hold up, hold up, hold up. If that sure? defense got four oh, turnovers sure? in the game. Okay, I'm sure? a thousand. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. I'm a thousand. Hold up, bro. Hold up. Let me get this in. Every so, time we get four turnovers, we that's it. Y'all have four. a better team. Y'all have a way better team than the Chargers. Congratulations. Yes. I'm not doing that. No, we don't. I don't have a way better team than the Chargers. He said no, you don't. He said no, you don't. A healthy bro, team, bro. I'm, healthy I'm not going team, Terrence. Even when they're team. bro, Terrence. Even when that Chargers team is healthy, everybody there. Derwin, Khalil, Joey. That defense is still atrocious. When did they get that 27 point lead? The when they were up. getting turnovers. What? Asante yes. said, Asante said, they were getting no. turnovers. You that that ass. Ass. Asante yeah, Samuel's only in the lead because of his last name. Like, Asante like, Samuel's like, only in the uh, uh, Asante uh, Samuel is still I'm starting in the league because his last name is Junior. Because he has a junior at the end of his name. I'm gonna go Asante Samuel Junior is not. Hey, G, hey, G, they put Khalil Mack on Tyreek Hill week one. But we can't blame coaches. Bro, they had Khalil Mack guarding Tyreek Hill week one. Are you telling me that's a good defense? You telling me that's good coaching? I can literally go pull up. I can literally go pull up the screenshot. I can literally go pull up the screenshot of Khalil Mack in the slot lined up against Tyreek Hill, gang. What are we talking oh, about? Yeah, he's terrible. Don't attach Wait, me to that. Do thing. you guys think you Mike McCarthy is a bad coach? He's terrible. Like, I, I want to be very clear because we're talking about coaching. Is Mike McCarthy a bad coach? First of all, if we're talking about first of all, no, he, no, about, no, 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 no. When, when I'm talking about there. coaching, when, when I'm talking about coaching, I meant coaching as a whole. Like, I like Mike McCarthy. I felt like when we hired Mike McCarthy, it was going to be a good hire for us. But my whole thing about hiring Mike McCarthy when we hired him was. How are you going to hire Mike McCarthy, a Super Bowl winning coach, a coach that was calling the plays, and, and you're going to hire coach. him, and you're going to tell him you're, you're going to hire him, tell him to come in, and you're telling you're going to tell him, but you're not going to you're not going to you're not going to coach offense or defense. You're just going to be a figurehead, and we already got a guy offensive coordinator, and we've seen what that guy do already, and he was shitty. Didn't and, Mike McCarthy? Okay, but didn't Mike McCarthy year, choose to keep him? last year? Last year, oh, no, that, 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 let that, me ask last year, he had a he career did, year. Dak had a career year. I mean, Michael, yeah, under Kyle, he had another one offense. Off Mike McCarthy's a good coach. But, but, but were they having you're, career you're, years? Mike McCarthy. Were they having season. career years? What are we talking? Dak Prescott had a great what year they, when it comes down, when it comes down to Kellen Moore and calling the offense. But listen, if you're talking about career year, yes, yeah, CD. I, I'm not even going to disagree because I don't care about that in terms of Mike McCarthy and Kellen Moore. The point is, if Mike McCarthy is a good coach, Mike McCarthy called if Mike McCarthy is a good coach, and this recent year they did what they did, then what's the excuse in the playoffs when it comes to the offense? Dan Quinn sabotaged us. Can I question back to you? Dan Quinn sabotaged you. Is this from Mike McCarthy? Is this anything you, new from listen, Mike McCarthy? Listen, listen. If, if you, if you don't want to call it, if you don't want to call it for what it is, if you don't want to call it for what it is, that's on you. But when my brother, when my brother, when my brother remained quiet the whole year, defended the nigga, and all of that, he remained quiet the whole year, and interviews and all of that. When they at when they when they kept asking him, Michael, why aren't you playing linebacker? And he was saying, look, like guys got to get reps. Like after that Bills game, when we gave up all them rushing yards, and they were like, Michael, where were you at? And Michael was like, listen, man, I can only do my job, like. Other guys got to do their jobs. Other guys got to get the experience. Other guys got to get those reps. And you know what I mean? I was cool with that because at the end of the day, that's true. But when you go to the playoffs and your best run defender, you're keeping them at the defensive line, knowing that we can't stop the run. That's a defense. That that's coaching, bro. That's coaching. So and then my follow up to that would be yeah with everything that y'all wait not every yeah yeah, yeah no, we know yeah yeah you got released every, you got released but, but here's saying, my thing if y'all know this going in if y'all know this going in about Mike McCarthy right y'all you yeah, all this the coaching Dan Mike Quinn McCarthy's and all that. a good coach that's why so, he's look, here. but okay then Cowboy to you because you're saying is this anything new with Mike McCarthy if y'all all know this going in y'all know about the holes the deficiencies this that and the third why do y'all continuously believe that these guys are Super Bowl contenders? Because, Did I, hold up, hold up, hold up. because first, of all, first of all, they're contenders. Saying. They're contenders because Division you look at them, you look at them game in and game out, and you say, okay, this team when they're playing their A game, 
is a hard team to beat. So, but you say so you acknowledge that there are holes when you turn on the tape. They know yes, you, they, you can't stop yes. the run. But if you, if you, a team okay. can't stop the run, that's a pretty easy team to beat. So how are they contenders? Not necessarily because not every team is equipped to beat because them like that. Because their offense was putting up a million points. Not every and not every team is equipped to do that. You know, what up, what up, what up, Your team, most playoff teams, your team, most playoff teams are able to run the ball. How many most, playoff teams, on average, most, make the playoffs and can't run the ball? Dallas? Can't run the ball because look, if we, even Dallas? if we look, even if we look at the NFC, even if we, Dallas? yeah, that's one out of seven. Because if you look in the NFC, the Rams could run the ball. No, hold up, hold up, hold up. In the NFC, you, so even if you take Dallas out because they could run the ball, 49ers, they can run the ball. But Eagles, listen, no, they can run they, the ball. No, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not done. The Lions, they could run the ball. The Packers, they could run the ball. Who 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 else made the playoffs that I'm missing? Oh oh, the Bucks couldn't. The Bucks couldn't. I'm, yeah, I'm, I won't say the Bucks. Yeah. And then what te- what team did I miss? I'm, I know I missed one. Okay. Yeah, so, so what? The 49ers, so, so, so the Eagles. I, okay. The the uh, this is just the NFC. I didn't even go to the AFC. So in the right. NFC, okay, the so 49ers, listen, right? the Lions. We play um, both of those teams in the regular season. We beat them so both. What? We play both of those no, teams in the regular out. season. You, never, you didn't both. play the Rams when they had Kyron Williams. Let's just be very clear. It don't matter. What? Kyron Williams. How does that not matter if if one of your more yeah, crucial pieces, if you you're one of more, if you if one of your most crucial pieces on offense is hurt and not playing, how does that not matter? Because because God hey, forbid, hey, God forbid, if CD misses a game and y'all lose, y'all gonna be like we didn't have CD. They didn't give us. They they. they what, no, on, the, I, but that's I not got the point, that. Though. I got that. I got that energy. I got that energy because that's the same energy that they have for us when we were when we were missing all of our st- when we were missing our whole entire offensive line and when, we lost to the Cardinals. We didn't get that same respect. But when but when the 49ers was lo- lost, they when did y'all lose to the Cardinals? Guys, and this, year, this, this year, we this three? year they week ran three? at Micah the whole time. That week three, yeah, James Carter, Carter cooked. Oh, okay, week know. three, week three, we couldn't stop the run and. uh and Josh Dobbs literally had two or three incompletions the whole game. We you know it's crazy. Game. Hey, you know it's crazy. You know what? I do remember that because you want to know what happened the week before. A much inferior team with a worse old line was able to come back on that team, aka the Giants. You're right. So that's why we killed y'all because the Giants could do it, but y'all couldn't. That's why we killed y'all. And we because the Giants are way more we, inferior than y'all. And they, way, they, way but more. guess what? But guess what? How they played the Giants was completely different from how they played us. That's every all right. Okay. Listen, all right, listen. Cause all right. No, 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 nah, nah, because be no, when you play, no, listen, listen, listen if you, if I don't you care really, how they play, Josh, y'all listen, shouldn't be losing to the If court. you really, if you yeah. really, if you really watch football and you really watch the Cowboys play, any team who plans to come in and beat us switches their whole game plan when they do see us. What? Okay, wait, wait, wait. You said they Francis, switched their whole, you said they switched their whole game plan. Yes, but you have also admitted that when you turn on the tape, you can see the way to beat them is to run the ball because they can't stop it. So that's early, not a hard game plan early, to switch. First of, all, first, first of all, earlier in the year that wasn't the case because we didn't have the injuries that we had towards the later end of the year. But you played the Cardinals in week what? Okay, we played the no, we played the we played Cardinals. Like we played the Cardinals in week three. And when did you play the 49ers? We lost the game. We lost the game. And when did you play the 49ers? We played the 49ers week five. So that's not early in the season, is it not? Again. So they were able to and see again, early in the what? season guess what? that y'all were susceptible to the run. That's week three and week five. They're okay. still doing they're what? still doing they're still do, again. they are still again. implementing again. day one installs again. in week three. Again, when you go to training again, camp okay, and you get so everything you we they, played, they, they're still putting day one installs of week three. Christian they McCaffrey, ain't even open the full play. Christian McCaffrey hasn't went over a hundred yards when he played us. And either game, and either game that we played him, oh he has never went over a hundred yards. God. Oh my god. Okay. So just because you don't go over a hundred yards doesn't mean you can't run the ball effectively on a team. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying okay, that. so he's well, so what, yeah, well, he didn't go over 100 well, yards. They well, still ran the ball effectively well, against. Well, what them. I'm saying is, when that Cardinals game in the beginning of the year was an anomaly, because even when because even when we played those teams that wanted to run the ball on us, they didn't really run the ball well on us. This Are you really, sure? really, the 49ers ran the ball well towards the end of the game when the defense was on the field five. the whole game and was tired. That's where they got majority of the yards. The 49ers didn't even score majority of their points to the second half. 
They only had 14 or 17 points by halftime, and they weren't running the ball well. They were passing the ball well. That's number one. And that's because we didn't have digs. They were passing the ball well on us. They didn't work. They weren't really running the ball. You got the DPO wide. Yeah, Philly though. On that you had you had the DPO wide to Philly, Philly, That's Philly. a top ten corner. You had stuff on the wrong on the other side. In a top ten corner. Oh and we were running. And we were running zone. We were a, we are a man on man zone. We are a man on man team. We are known to blitz and send man on man coverage. After the loss of Trayvon Diggs, we ran way more zone because we we're afraid of getting beat because we didn't have a nickel corner for real. So let's talk about it. And then y'all was still getting beat. Come on, bro. Like, like people. I, that's the only. That, that's the only little credit that I give Dan Quinn because us losing this kind of did change the way we wanted to run our defense a little bit with the blitzes and the man on man and having to run more zone. That's the only thing I give him, but to not to run nickel and dime coverage against running teams is that's a, that's a coaching issue. That's a pride issue. You well, you give credit to Mike McCarthy for allowing CD land to have a historic year for himself. I give credit. You don't I give, give credit to Dan Quinn for doing the same thing for Deron Bland. No. Bro, we can end the show. Bro, this is crazy. bro, this is crazy. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it's it to you. The same logic. No, no it's not it's the, the same, same logic, logic at all. It's not the same logic at all. It's not the same logic. Did at all. Dan Quinn you know not why? put Deron you know Bland in good positions you know in order you, to succeed? You know, you, you know why? You, you know why? You know why? You know why I'm not gonna do that? Because if you really watch the game, Deron Bland created those opportunities, and it. it and it was also a mixture of bad passes. Every Deron Bland, every Deron But Bland, he's top listen, 10, though. Oh, listen, though, listen, though. Every Deron Bland pick six came on an out route, an out route that he jumped, uh-huh. being aggressive with the football. Uh-huh. And the other one came off of Bryce Young holding the ball too long and not oh okay his man. And he jumped that jump because he didn't Okay, have, he so if you're saying a track. lot of them are bad so, passes, how was he top 10? Because you still gotta, you still gotta do it. You still gotta make the play. You still gotta make the play. You still gotta make the play. You still gotta. But it sounds like he was benefited off a bad quarterback play. That's what it sounds like. No, wait. But what it sounds like is he was. What it sounds like is he was. What it sounds like is he was benefiting from a good pass rush, and that's what a lot of cornerbacks do. Your best cornerbacks, for real, for real, the ones that give up the minimal amount of yardage, the ones that can really play clamps. Really got a good pass rush, or at least a decent one. One that can make rush the quarterback, make sure the quarterback can sit back there and have all day to throw. That's number one. Just like James Bradbury this year, when the pass rush was there last year, James Barry was James Bradbury was an All Pro corner. As soon as the pass rush was lacking, he was getting toasted, burnt up. It's I mean, the he same was, thing. I mean, he was getting burnt up when they had the pass rush, but you know, media but, they don't pay attention. Right. Yeah, I mean, but, I'm, but he was getting burnt up, but it was way less because motherfuckers got to get rid of the ball way quicker. You know what I'm saying? So when your defensive line can interrupt the game like that, you know what I mean? It allows your cornerbacks to play way more aggressive. They know, okay, I can sit on the short route because – You going to work out with me this summer? Oh, hey, I can sit, on, I can, Bama, I can sit on the short route. That's you go over there. Bama, you're not muted. Bama, you're not muted. It hurt. I'm trying. Why do you think, why you think Diggs had 11 interceptions – the first year Micah got on the stat, got, got on the board. Diggs got them interceptions because motherfuckers really had to get rid of the ball. You know what I'm saying? Well, motherfuckers got to get rid of the ball quick. It allows your cornerbacks to play way more aggressive, make way more plays on the ball. I I mean, obviously, well, you know, they're gonna get no they're gonna get beat. They're gonna get beat on the deeper, they're gonna get beat on the deeper routes sometimes because they're playing so aggressive, which happens in our defense. But majority of the cases, when our when our pass rush can get there, so and Dan Quinn gets court- no credit for Deron Bland and, and Trevon Diggs. They're both them seasons they had. He gets no credit. The only the only the only credit Dan Quinn gets is the culture that he created and the and the pass rush and the creating turnovers. That I will get, I will give him credit for that. Wait. I never, I never said Dan. So the was few most important parts I never the said Dan Quinn, I never said Dan Quinn was a bad coach. Dan Quinn is a good coach. Okay, but your best coaches, your best coaches, listen to their players. They're not letting their pride get in the way of what happens on Sundays. Okay, Dan Quinn lost the Dan Quinn lost the locker room, bro, and you seen it in the way the defense was playing, especially in the later parts of the year. 
So Dave sorry, Quinn, I'm sorry. Dave, 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 Quinn, Dave Quinn lost the defense. Bro, all right. So the reason why I give Mike McCarthy credit and I don't give Dan Quinn credit is because Mike McCarthy listened to his players. When CD said, I need the ball more, CD started getting the ball more, and you've seen the results. When Michael was going to him and saying, I think we could do this, or I think we should do that, or I think we uh this, this, and this, he wasn't listening. That's the difference. That's the difference. He wasn't listening. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was so happy when Micah came out on his podcast and was like, you know what I mean, during the Pro Bowl, during the Pro Bowl and was like, Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. All the installs are there. All the plays for me to play linebacker are there. We all of it is there. I'm not the one calling the plays. So I got to tell you everything question. right there. There's a I disconnect. Gotta, I got a genuine question. Make though. this the closing question, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, facts. So genuine question for you, Terrence. What would you like to see from the Dallas Cowboys next year in terms of schemes, maybe even personnel, to ensure that they reach the I – will, I, will, I will say this, though, before you go, before you go, Terrence, A, because it was nasty work. You got to get Michael from with his hands in the dirt. Y'all more effective if he's standing up versus being a full-time pass rusher. That's right. why he was the top pick of what he was because you never really knew what he line, where he was going to line up, and they pretty much lined him up in the most effective places. So one thing Dallas do need to do is they need to get him from being a full-time pass rusher and get somebody that can rush the, pass rush the quarterback. That's a true DN, honestly. But you can go from there. I can – I agree with that, but – the, the the pass rushes that we have right now on the roster are good enough. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They're good enough. It comes down to the interior of the defensive line. That's that's what we need help with. The guy that can eat up them blocks. You know what I'm saying? Because if you got a guy on the inside that that commands a double team, Mike is not going to be getting double team. You know what I'm saying? Like it. it, it or, you know what I mean, if you're going to keep him with his hand in the dirt, a lot of times, especially, especially, you know what I mean, against teams that wanted to limit our pass rush, they're getting the ball out quick. You know what I'm saying? They're getting the ball one, two, get rid of the ball. One, two, get rid of the ball. And that was the most effective thing against our pass rush. And what I was – what I explained on my podcast is – if you go look at the all 22s on defense, a lot of the times our defense is getting fried. It's because we're giving up too much short shit. We're too worried about the back end and giving up too much short shit. We got our corners playing 10 yards off the ball. When you got a guy who can get to the quarterback in two seconds, it just you're doing a grave disservice for him. You know what I'm saying? Any type of one-on-one situation in the past, Mike is going to get there. Like, and it was a few times in that Packers game where guys are too far off the ball and Jordan Love is able to sit back there and get rid of the ball comfortably to an open guy five, six, seven yards off the line of scrimmage. Bro, you can't win like that. You know what I'm saying? And we got to do more bump and run coverage. We got to we gotta make the quarterback sit back there and pat the ball. If the quarterback isn't sitting back there and having to actually look for an open person, you're going to get situations like we got. You know what I'm saying? So and who's the D.C. y'all have now? We got Mike Zimmer. Mike Zimmer. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, Mike Zimmer. I, was, I like that hire for real because, you know what I mean, Mike Zimmer – at least he's he, experienced. Yeah, he's experienced, yeah. and he's gonna he's gonna make sure we're fundamentally sound. You know, what I mean, we weren't fundamentally sound, especially in the run game. You know, what I mean, so I think he's gonna make sure we're fundamentally sound, and he's not gonna have our corners playing ten yards off the ball. You know, what I'm saying like that matters, bro. Like especially, you know, what I mean, when I'm sitting back and watching the game film, and I'm watching what's happening, I'm watching Micah get there. And before Micah can get there, the quarterback has the ball out out already. You know what I mean? You're doing a grave disservice for him. For him. And, you know what I mean? That's just where I was at with it most of the year. It's just – and, you know what I mean? People who want production, people be like, oh, where's Mike at? Where's Mike at? The end is not a productive position unless you're getting sacks and tackles for loss. It's not a productive position. Linebacker, that's a productive position. You, you're able to play sideline to sideline, make plays in a pass game, run game. And you know what I'm saying? That's going to be your production. 
but you know what I mean? They don't get paid top dollar. And you know what I'm saying? That, and I tell people all the time, like, Jerry's not going to want to pay Michael all that money to be a pass rusher to use him as a part time pass rusher. Mm-hmm. Unless you're and, TJ. You know what I'm saying? TJ, TJ is in a system where he's in a 3 4 defense. That's why when he brought up Von Miller, 3 4 defense, you you don't really have responsibility in the run game like that, and you're not getting double teamed in the pass game. They say right now we should go to a 3-4 system right now, and that'll help Micah tremendously. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, if you want to win right now, you don't want to change the defense. You're you're gonna it's gonna it's an adjustment period, you know what I'm saying? The defense probably won't be ready to the playoff time by the time they actually know what the fuck they're doing. So in the four three system, I think that Micah should play like sixty percent DN, forty percent linebacker, long nose range. It should really be situational. Third and long, automatic. First and ten, automatic. Anything in between that, yeah, I mean it should be all situational. Second and long, yeah, keep him at DN. Second and short, he should be at linebacker. Third and short, linebacker. Third and long, DN. Yeah, I mean it should all be situational. Yeah, and I like Zimmer because he got that double A blitz. And this year, Micah was at his best when he was lined up over the center. He created a lot of havoc right there. And Zimmer likes running that. Terrence, so, man, what's your what's your podcast for the people in the chat? I ain't gonna lie, you got a new fan. You 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 nasty. You be cooking chitlins, but you cook, bro. Like you could defend yourself five v one. So yeah. you got my respect, bro. I want you back on here again when we just anytime talk about football, man. That way, I want to see a real knowledge because you know about the Cowboys. I'll give you that. You know about the Cowboys. I, I will definitely give you that. But I want to know what else you know about for us. With, with and every t- I watch I watch football. Like you know what I'm saying. I watch every team. I got. I'm a That's fan respect. of at least one player on every team. That's respect. That's respect. So what's your uh what's your podcast for the people in the chat? The podcast is uh Real Talk by Capers and Parsons. Uh my co-host uh Capers, he uh he a Madden guy. Um he a content creator, he uh he be around. And you know what I mean? We uh we connected through my brother and you know what I mean I was the one to do a podcast, he was the one to do a podcast, so we you know what I mean we made that thing work. And you know, what I mean, it's new. I think what we started it first week of the playoffs. So, mm. you know, what I mean, it's new. We uh, we definitely got a nice little following for you know, what I mean, definitely just starting out. Uh, I'm about to say a lot of good content on there. Like I explain a lot, especially when it comes, you know, what I mean, to defending, you know, what I mean, our best mm-hmm. players. You know, what I mean, <laughs> defending our best players because a lot of people, especially like Cowboys Nation. They're, they're the football IQ just ain't always there. You know what I mean? They're only looking at a few guys. You know what I mean? When you're only looking at 4, 11, and 88, you know what I mean? It's going to be real easy to put the blame at their feet. And I just say it's just not fair to those guys because, you know what I mean, I watch Pat Mahomes. I watch Brock Purdy. And all those guys have guys that step up that ain't the main guys. And – it t- that's what it takes to, you know what I mean, go win a Super Bowl, win a conference championship, and all of that. But, yeah, man, all socials, Real Parson, Real Talk by Pars- Capers and Parsons, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, TikTok, all major all major platforms. I'm always giving knowledge to the people, for sure. I like it. appreciate everything. you, bro. I really appreciate you pulling up. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, you pull up again. Trent. Dog, you know I ain't forgot about you, dog. You five more subs away from the big eight double zero, right? Hey, yeah, bro. Hey, yeah. So let don't let them folks know what 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 you got going on. I mean, you know, five eight hundred, bro. Just tr five and t on YouTube, bro. Make sure y'all tap with me. Of course, with Bama with VIP room. Make sure y'all, man. I got had Xavier McKinney and Dory Jackson. I had all the guys pull up and talk to me, bro. Make sure y'all we got more content on the way, bro. We go we gonna be up for sure, bro. So you know, we eight hundred away from. What's the name? I wait for me. Y'all want me, bro? I love talking football, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. We hey, like I said, I man, go on y'all personal shows, all that. Hey, I go on y'all personal shows, all fun. that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Black, black, yeah, black sensei society, man. You know, I see y'all cooking over there. You know, can you let the people know about that, man? Yeah, man. If y'all into that nerd stuff, anime, manga, webtoons, all that nerdy stuff, and you want to get down with it, make sure you guys go check out Black Sensei Society. You got your boy here. You got j Rob here. You got some other people over there, of course, Lonnie, Random, um, Miles. So make sure you guys check that out. That shit's a lot of fun. Hey, and I, I want to say this, too. 
I know people say it's nerdy stuff, but man, this is who I would say. Us as black folks, this is just broadening our horizon. We was great in things other than just athletics and entertainment, man. They got a guy over there, Ty. He writes comics. Great comic, by the way, man. It's, I, 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 I've yeah. really fought with them boys over there in Black Anime Society, too, because they're breaking the barriers of what it is to be normal for us with black men. G Coach. Coach G, yes, Coach sir. G, baby, yes, talk sir. to us, man. What's going on? Uh, my personal is underscore G dot baby twenty two. If you want to follow all things wrestling, you know, knowledge that man, the tribal chief. Uh, follow uh, our YouTube, our podcast is on Narcolepsy Boy ninety four. If you guys watch wrestling, you probably know from him on TikTok. Narcolepsy Boy ninety four on YouTube. No name wrestling podcast. Follow that on Twitter. I mean on on TikTok. No no name underscore wrestling. Hey man, we up man for sure. What kind of wrestling? WWE wrestling or like? Yeah, 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 like professional wrestling, like WWE. The one that matters, WWE. Yep. <laughs> nah, the one, that the one that matters is in the Olympics. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey man, that's been another episode. Follow me, Just Bama TV, man. We dropping stuff. Me and my folks got the own personal podcast going on. We were talking about every about everything game related. You know what I'm saying? Sports, real life, females, politics, all of this. So give me a subscribe. You know, if you want to hear that real talk, of course, we got the JB podcast, BJ Robin Early, and the beautiful guest, Ari. I mean, beautiful host Ari. You know, we hosting that every Wednesday and Sundays at 10 p.m. Eastern over there on By Any Means. So give us a look, and we'll be back tomorrow with Open Field at 1 p.m., man. Pull up with the other nasty group of casuals, bro, daring to be different. And we out, man, Till next week. Yes, sir.